Good evening, football fans, and welcome to tonight's broadcast of the Malakoff Tigers versus the Grosbeck Goats here in Grosbeck, Texas. At uh, I guess we're at Goat Field. Yeah, it's, it's got to be a goat. Yeah, I guess so. Well, the second district game for both teams, Marcus. The Tigers uh, come into tonight's contest with a three and two overall record and a one and zero district record so far after taking it to Teague last week, 77-0, to and that was the final score, 77-0 with that, that running clock in the second half. So it was uh, it was a good day if you're a reserve player for Malakoff last week, my friend, because they got a lot of action in the second half, and we saw some kids score that haven't scored uh, yet uh, in their varsity career that did last week. Jaden Reno won a 63-yard run. Yes, sir. And I want to give a little – I'm going to give a little credit uh, where credit is due well, to – Well, do it. Uh, Carter Fuller, number 13 for the Malakoff Tigers last week, he sprung that play for Trevino on that left side. And I went back and watched the video, and Carter Fuller sealed the edge, and he literally kept four people – from getting to and catching up to Trevino. Man. And Trevino right. just tore the Jets. And that was a good piece of blocking by Carter Fuller. So I want to want to go back and give that to him because at the time we didn't really see that. Right. But I want to make mention of that because it was a it was a great downfield block by the receiver. And that's what you want your receivers to do. And and that's how you win a lot of football games too. Most You've definitely. got everybody uh, playing a part, and, and Carter Fuller was playing a part, right. even though I don't think he scored last week, mm-hmm. but he played a he big played part a instrumentally in blocking downfield for the Tiger running back. What's so props Carter? to Carter Fuller yes, sir. Uh, for last week, and we want to give those props out because a lot of times folks see see the fame and the glory. They see the quarterback and the running backs, mm-hmm. but you know they don't see all the blocking that it takes. Yeah to spring those quarterbacks and running backs for the big gains that they have or keep that quarterback upright in the pocket and clean, mm-hmm. throwing from big yardage games. Yeah, them guys took that eye out of team, Joy, because they – Yeah. It, it, no it, eye in team. No, no eye in team. Yeah, and and I think the Tigers are on to something, Marcus. I really oh, yeah. do. And, you know, last week, uh, you know, we had Deuce Hart. Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> he led all rushers with 79 yards and two TDs on just six touches. Oh, yeah, six. And, yeah, that was just rushing last week. That's and right. uh, You know, and then Jay Javino comes in one, one. play, 63 yards. And so, Almost I took mean, the lead, yeah. So, if you, if you average his uh, running totals up as 63 yards per carry, uh, that'll yeah. get you into the yeah. High School Hall of Fame morning, Marcus. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Darian Peace, though, 168 yards, three touchdowns last week, going eight for 12. Uh, through the friendly skies and the airways for the Malakoff Tigers. Yes, sir. Well, it was uh, – I tell you what, it was the um, Grosbeck Goats last week mm-hmm. opening up things in district play over the Eustace Bulldogs uh, at the Boneyard with a big win, 68-20. to That game was pretty close all through the first half. And the second half, Grosbeck really poured it on with a young team that they have, uh, sophomore quarterback uh, led by Alan Lewis, uh, for the Goats, 68-20 final score there. I was able to listen a little bit of that after the Malakoff game and uh, 99.1 Buzz Russell on KNES. What but, it do, uh, Buzz? Yeah, Buzz, uh, they call it a great game. But that was an exciting game to hear them call because, like Malakoff, they were able to put a lot of the reserves in mm-hmm. last week and see them do some pretty big things also. But a young, young team in Grosbeck, 22 underclassmen, Marcus. Man. 22. Uh, and their future looks pretty bright. What you're going to see tonight from Grosbeck, you're going to see a, a pretty agile quarterback uh, in Allen Lewis. Uh, I've watched the video on Allen Lewis. Uh, Lewis is a good uh, – he's a good downfield passer now. If he's got time and he's upright, he can he can sling the rock. Uh, but he's got to have time, and that's where, that's where he's being failed at by his linemen or has been so far. Now, last week really wasn't a big test for him, mm-hmm. but he had to scramble a lot because Eustace did apply a little bit of pressure to him last week. But previous games I've watched him play in video, and, and he can run. And oh, yeah. If he doesn't like what he sees downfield, he'll tuck it and go. And yeah, he's got this. some quickness to him. And so the Tigers are really going to have to contain this quarterback tonight and keep him from ripping off big gains 
uh, especially on those passing downs because right, right. he loves to tuck the ball under and run on passing downs, and he will. And he, he can scat, believe me. We're going to kind of shadow him a little bit then. I, w- I would say you, you might want to, you know. Uh, my, my biggest thing is if Biscuit hits him one good time, oh I don't know how he's going to take that. Oh, I'm trying to tell you. Uh, that, that hit last week still resonates in my oh, mind. It, yeah. that <laughs> Touch my spirit. <laughs> that D.K. Rose uh, hit on Jackson for Teague last week. Mm-hmm. That uh, – uh, that was a, a playback uh, that was played all over Facebook, yeah. probably had close to 800, yeah. 800 yeah. views uh, yeah. and still climbing. But yeah. uh, in, in your call, oh, no. Oh, you know, no. Oh, yeah. yeah you. That was a bad one right there. I'm telling you. But a good hit anyway. So I'm going to give a breakdown of, of the GOATs right quick, Marcus. Mildred, uh, they, they go to Mildred, win to Mildred 53-6. to six. That was a good game for them. But Mildred having a, a kind of a, a down year, if you will, Marcus, I over will. there. In Navarra County, uh, Rice. They won against Rice. Who Rice is a pretty strong 3A team this year uh, in Division Two. Uh, they beat Rice 39 to 14. So, but then they get to Little River, Little River Academy, the Bumblebees, mm. and they lose that game 45 to zero. So they stung, huh? Yeah, and, and I don't think that Little River has quite the talent that the Tigers or Grandview or Pottsboro or anybody else that they're going to face will have. So I, I really don't see that a lot. At Little River, and then Palmer comes to town, and Palmer, you know, takes the uh, takes the win against Grosbeck, forty-two to twenty-one, mm. and that was Palmer. Yeah, Oof. yeah. So, yeah. and then of course they bounce back last week, do the goats, and win that one, sixty-eight twenty, in shootout fashion in the second half, and it was kind of like that. Uh, if you will, for Malakoff, when they played these goats two years ago, Marcus, mm-hmm. it was a tight game in the first half, and then the Tigers ran away with that ball game. And I believe we scored 68 points that game, yeah, if memory serves me correct. And I'll look it up here the goat in, suit. in just a minute. But uh, the goat suit. But it's it's going to be a nice uh, it's going to be a nice night for football here in Malakoff. I mean, excuse me, in Uh-oh, Crowsbeck yeah, for the Malakoff Tiger fans. The Tigers are coming uh, out of the tunnel right now. Yes, there's a tunnel over there, and uh, on the uh, home sideline, the Tigers are coming out. Uh, all white uniforms tonight. Girls back will be in all red. Tigers have two of the come and t- uh, take it signs, and then they've got the uh, the Texas flag, and I believe they got the American flag too as well. So, mm. Oh, yeah, they got we'll, them all. We'll see what they have. Two Texas flags. Wow. I'm going to so, stand up to all of them. Well, I don't know about standing up in here. Yeah, it's kind of tight in here. Yeah, we, we're probably going to have to stay sitting down. Yeah, it it is uh, – I wouldn't – it's sitting room only, not standing room, I'm but sitting room you. only in here. It, we're, we're packed up yeah, like a bunch of sardines yeah, up we, in here. Yeah. We got we to keep our mask on. Well, I tell you what, yeah. Yeah, we kind of tight. Yeah, these masks are, yeah. are being worn tonight, I'm, I tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Well, I tell you what, Marcus, we, we're looking at uh, – we're looking at a, a – Two teams here that are definitely going to make the playoffs. Mm-hmm. And as I look back or think back at the beginning of the season, I really didn't give Grosbeck much credit. And I think going forward that you have to look at them as a front runner in this district along with Malakoff. Up most definitely. You know, because they're scoring a lot of points and it looks like this young team is growing mm-hmm. uh, game by game. And that's what you want to do if you're a young team. That's right. You know, being in Grosbeck, you want to grow game by game to get better and better towards the end of the season to give yourself a chance not only to make the playoffs, but to get into playoffs and do well. Right. And I think Grosbeck has the talent to be able to do that Uh in this District 8 here. And really, it's going to be a dog fight for 2, 3, and 4, I believe. Malakoff's mm-hmm. still my favorite until I'm proven wrong. And I really don't want to say anything until after this game's over <laughs> yeah, tonight because right. yeah, I, I don't want to jinx yeah, anybody. I but look. I really think that Malakoff is the front runner uh, right. in this district. And, and, yeah, and until I'm convinced otherwise, they are the number one team in this district and, and will carry that out the rest of the season. Grosbeck, I believe, could probably second. probably be the second place team in this district. Right. You know, followed by Kemp or Eustace, right. and that that those Maybe are Fairfield. those you, are my you know, two. You know. Well, yeah, yeah, Fairfield. You know, they they, might, they yeah. haven't even played a game yet. Oh my! Yeah, they haven't played a game yet. Uh, it, it's been it's been cancellations due to COVID and everything else. Poor Fairfield, but Fairfield, we know they have some talent. So the so second place could actually come down to Fairfield yeah. and Grosbeck, Marcus. Yeah. And you're right for reminding me of that. Mm-hmm. And they were kind of out of the back of my mind, but Fairfield's another athletic team 
so that uh, that drops down from 4A. And not too long ago, Grosbeck was in 4A also. They dropped down as well. So these are bigger schools with bigger numbers uh, than Malakoff uh, is accustomed to in the past. Uh, when you get up here, in, it's kind of like playing Van. Van had the kind of numbers that Grosbeck has tonight. Mm-hmm. I believe I counted 40-something on the roster, I believe 44 to be exact. And here comes the Malakoff oh, yeah. Tigers taking the field to play. Man, this thing could almost get started here, George. It will. An early kickoff tonight, folks, 6.30 p.m. And tonight's Thursday yeah. night, of course. Exactly. I had to remind myself it's Me Thursday too. night, not Friday. It's throwback Thursday. Yeah, throwback Thursday. And then uh, it'll be a uh, uh, wickety, wickety Wednesday next Woo-wee. week for homecoming, right? Yes, sir. Homecoming wickety. next week? Um, yeah, homecoming next week. Yeah, homecoming, yeah, homecoming, homecoming next baby. week. Wednesday uh, at 6.30 p.m., and that just sounds weird right there. I'm saying see. those two things, uh, Wednesday football oh, and um, homecoming at the same time. That and just I tell you, don't even seem right. I tell you, the, it the, is. the, the uh, church is going to be mad, George. It's, it's, it's Bible study. Well, Wednesday. the Lord will forgive them. Yeah, he'll forgive them. And maybe some of the preachers will come out. And yeah, kinda, and, and have Bible study. Have Bible study, yeah. yeah you come can to still, the homecoming. You can still do that. Yeah, come to the homecoming, pastors. You, you might want to save some people in the stands. Hey, I, I hear them needing hey, saved man. all the time, don't you? Hey, Amen. <laughs> I Especially pissed. when the officials make bad calls, Who right? you tell them? Yeah. And they may even need to save one of us in here sometimes, I uh, tell yes, you. Yes, they do. Marcus gets out of hand a lot. I'm trying to tell you. My <laughs> blood pressure come up sometimes, <laughs> but I'm all right. Well, we're having a good time tonight, folks, and we're about to have the playing another national anthem as both teams are on the field to play. We'll take a moment of silence in the booth, and we'll hear a word for some of our fine sponsors right now, and we'll be right back after these messages. Yes, sir. The Malakoff Tigers Sports Network would like to thank Brookshire's and Malakoff for the catering of our press box tonight. Brookshire's will cater all home games this year, and we are proud of our hometown grocery store for the continuous support of Malakoff ISD Athletics. Thank you, Brookshire's, for being a sponsor of Malakoff Tigers Sports Network. Let's face it, we live in a fast-paced world with little time to get many things done that in a perfect world we could do with relative ease ourselves. With David Kennedy's red carpet treatment, let David do things that you don't have time to do or just don't want to tackle yourself. David has his three-room carpet cleaning special for just $125. That's what I'd pay the chiropractor after doing that. Save money, time, and your back. Let the carpet pro get her done for you. Did we mention that David won best carpet cleaning business on Cedar Creek Lake in 2017 and 2019? Well, he just did. Kennedy's red carpet treatment specializes in 20 24-hour water extraction and rapid structure dryout, tile, grout, VCT tile, area rugs, upholstery, carpet cleaning, air duct cleaning, and odor elimination. The Malakoff Tigers Sports Network endorses David's work. The phone number that you can reach David at is 903-802-0218. You can also send David an email at kennedysredcarpet at gmail.com. David is also on Facebook. Just give him a shout for the best of the best service. David would like to wish his daughter Alec and son Carter a great year this year at Malakoff Middle School. Alec is a 7th grade MMS cheerleader and Carter is on the 8th grade football team. We would like to thank David for his support of the Malakoff Tigers Sports Network. Go Tigers! This portion of tonight's Malakoff Tiger football game is being brought to you in part by CC's Unisex Hair Shop. CC's Unisex Hair Shop is located at 604 West Corsicana Street in Athens, Texas. The phone number you can reach Cynthia or Cecil at CC's is 903-477-1553 or 903-675-2688. CC's takes walk-ins and appointments. CC's, we're looking good, is understood. Imagine a bank that actually helps you get what you want instead of red tape, loan committees, and canned lending formulas. Work with decision makers who can back you up from start to finish. At First State Bank in Malakoff, we're big enough to care, and we're here to help you. With locations in Malakoff, Athens, Maybank, Gunbarrel City, and Corsicana, we offer internet banking that includes checking balances, transfers between accounts, paying bills, Quicken and QuickBook integrations, online payroll, and you will always have a secure login. We also offer mobile deposits and merchant capture deposits for larger businesses. At First State Bank, we pride ourselves with consumer and commercial lending. Whatever your banking needs are, we care and will help you. At First State Bank, we've stood the test of the times. You will leave our bank with a smile on your face every time. First State Bank in Malakoff is located at 102 West Royal Boulevard. Our phone number is 903-676-1900. We can be found on the internet at www.fsbathens.com. First State Bank of Malakoff is a member of FDIC. Special thanks to Julie Armstrong and her staff at the Malakoff First State Bank for their support of the Malakoff Tiger Sports Network. 
Established in 1966, Hearn Surveying Associates LLC is a family-owned and operated professional land surveying firm located in Athens, Texas. Mark Book Farrell is carrying on the family tradition as the owner of Hearn Surveying. HSA is licensed, experienced, and equipped to meet a plethora of surveying needs. Typical projects include title surveys, topography surveys, commercial construction projects, energy-related jobs, land development, and boundary locations. Most importantly, Hearn Surveying stands ready to respond to your surveying needs in the changing landscape of the real estate market. For all of your surveying needs, call Hearn Surveying and Associates LLC at 903-675-2858. That's 903-675-2858. Or visit their office located at 108 West Tyler Street in Athens, Texas. Hearn Surveying Associates wishes the Malakoff Tigers good luck this season. All right, folks, back here live, Grosbeck, Texas. And the goats and the Tigers about to get it on here. Uh, just about sunset, and that sun is just right Man. over the press box over there on the yeah. west side. Yeah. And, and uh, uh, out for the Tigers, Brandon Nation is one of the captains, and the Tigers won the toss and deferred to the second half. Yes, sir. So the Tigers will be kicking this thing off, and they'll be kicking from our left to our right in the white unis. And uh, Grosbeck in the red, captain for Grosbeck, Kobe Weihausen. Mm. And uh, the Tigers now – We'll get to go on defense first and try to stop uh, the super sophomores Let's from see. the Grosbeck Goats. And we've heard that term, super sophomore, before. I'm telling before. you, we had a bunch of them. It's going to be yeah. very interesting here. Right. Got to give a shout-out to this guy way in Kentucky. He flew to Kentucky All right. just to go. He didn't have nothing else to do, him and his mom. His mom yep. would say, let's go to Kentucky. Uh, shout-out to Lucas Green. What's up, guy? Hey, Lucas. Glad you can hey, join Lucas. us tonight. Yeah. And he good, and that's Freddie Greer, you know, from Mahalo. Oh, yeah, Freddie they from Mahalo. Playing, they're playing uh, Brownsboro. Brownsboro yeah. yeah. We saw the Brownsboro buses uh, rolling that way. Yeah. I think that's tonight. Yeah, it's, it's tonight. I okay. saw them. I passed them. I, I, I guess I they're playing them. on Thursday night as well. Yeah. So. Yeah, I was kind of wondering. I was like, they're playing on Thursday. Well, a lot of people Across have changed. Maybe yeah. it's the JV. Yeah, yeah well, know. a lot of people have changed, and it may be the JV, Marcus. Yeah. yeah. We, we forget that we're playing on Thursday night right. here. In about 30 more minutes, that sun should be down and below that me. press box. Right now, I I'm can't see you. squat. I mean, your head is shining right now. Oh, I tell you. Ooh and uh, that'll be Juan Gonzalez to tit off for the Tigers. Juan. And back deep for Grosbeck. I know it's number five, McQuay Smith. Also number 22, Anthony Lewis. There is a... Short, short but short high kick. kick. Fielded at the 20-yard oh, oh, no. line and bobbled in. Oh, oh no. my, what a hit. Got him. That's Trevino and uh, Zach Studley on yeah. the hit along with Perkins From and a, Connor Kale. A Trevino in a stud. Oh, man, they put something Goodness on Goodness gracious. Well, i tell you what, one thing that we can say, the special teams from Malakoff has been special all year long, and kudos goes out to that unit because that's the, that's there's three faces of the game, yeah. offense, defense, and special teams. That's right. And you'll often hear me say that special teams wins a lot of games Talk for to you. Me. Lewis, the quarterback now, three wide receivers to the left, one to the right. It's going to be a handoff up the middle and a short gain on the play, yeah. maybe three Dude, yards not. on the run. Stop by – 14, Cannon Poteet with the initial hit, but a gang of Tigers. And that was Smith on the run for the Goats. So a gain of, it looks like three yards. It'll be third down and seven up and coming. Yeah. They're saying six on the scoreboard, but I'll call it a long yeah. six yes, if it long, is. Yeah, I'm telling you. Two wide receivers to the right, two to the left, one back in the backfield for the quarterback, Lewis. Lewis, three-step drop. Look, surveys the field. Little screen dump off pass to Lewis, and he's knocked out of bounds by D.K. Rose in a short gain. It looks like it'll be another three yards, maybe two yards on the game, on the play. It'll be third down and four up and coming for the Goats. Enjoy. They tried to do a little sneak screen. But it didn't quite work. The well, Tigers kind of stayed at home. Yeah. Davis on the left side over there and Waldo, and they all strung it out very nicely. And, of course, D.K. Rose, we talked about last week playing linebacker, did a great job of stringing that out. Yes, sir. Three wide receivers left, one to the right, one back in the backfield. Lewis is going to be the option play. No clue. And nothing doing. Oh, we. And I don't think he got back to the original line of scrimmage. And guess who that if was? That. that was number, oh, that was number 50. 55 that time. Oh, Morales. Jose Morales. Jose say, give me some. 
Well, I don't know if that was Jose or not. That might have been Waldo. That was Waldo, Marcus, 75. Oh. That sun's glaring in your eyes. That was uh, Eric that. Waldo. Oh, okay. That's okay, my friend. Hey. Gonna, and the goats will have to punt. Yeah, that quick. And while ago, that ball was coming in a slow, George. The Tigers might have a chance to block it. Oh, almost. There is a uh, spiraling long kick. And Driscoll, oh, Driscoll will safe. field it, dangerously oh. field it, around Ooh. the 30. And he'll trot out of bounds close to the 33-34 yard line where the Tigers will take over first down and 10 Man. in their own territory. Driscoll say, let me well, get I tell it. you, I couldn't get a number. I believe that was Zach Wilson on the punt for Grossbeck. And that sun is just, I, it's boy, it's more. treacherous. We've got to put our hand up to kind of get off the glare. Ten minutes and 29 seconds. From the start of the first quarter, Tigers already got possession of the ball. Zero to zero. Darion Peace, the quarterback for the Tigers. Pistol formation, Deuce Hart in the backfield. Two wide right, one to the left. Got to be a handoff to Deuce Hart. Hart back against the grain for a nice gainer close to the 40-yard line. He'll be about a yard shy of first down yardage and a nine-yard pickup brought, on that play. Brought down by Cade Watson of the Goats. So the piece looking over at the sideline. Nice run that time by yeah. Hart. Great one once again. Let's see if Peace calls his own number right here. Three man front for the defense. Gonna be a little bubble screen out to Got plenty of room. Nathan Jones. Jones has first down yardage close to midfield to be tackled at the forty nine. By Zach Wilson of Grossbeck. So Jones with a ten yard pickup on that reception for the Tigers. And just as we thought, George, Tigers just moving the ball down. Yes, sir. Easily. Now Grossbeck. Uh oh, Grossbeck. I'm a free play. free play right here. No, they should have took it. And they finally stopped play. But they had a free play exactly. right there. And I, I, I couldn't hear a whistle on the field. Right. Of course, the windows are shut here right now. But he kind of stopped it after it, the team kind of stopped. Yeah, so encroachment on the defense. That's a five yard penalty against Grossbeck. Grossbeck was applying the heat right yeah, there. Yeah, they wanted to. And I think, uh, I think Darion Peace got him on the hard count. And Grossbeck coming again with pressure. Yep, they coming again. Coming pressure on yeah. the ends. Like the it looks like they're bringing five. Got eight in the box here to try to stop the run. It's going to be a handoff. Uh -oh. And there goes Deuce Hart. Oh. And Hart is tripped up close to first down yardage. And I believe he's going to have it, Marcus. It yeah. is a five-yard pickup for Deuce Hart and the Malakoff Tiger first down. Tackle by Chris Cox. Cox was all over him, Joe. Nine minutes, four seconds left in the first quarter. Like we got somebody down. I believe so, Marcus. Yeah, Cox put him down. Wow. Very hard. Well, hopefully, yeah, hopefully, hopefully the young yeah. man's okay. He's okay. It's Eric oh. Waldo. There you go. He survived the hit of Cox. Well, I think maybe looks like maybe he's putting a little bit of pressure on that ankle there, right? Yeah. You know, he could have could have easily got it twisted in that twisted pile right bit. there. Yeah. And you don't want to lose Eric Waldo. <sighs> Eric Waldo is a key uh, for this Tiger offense and defensive line. Most definitely. He kind of walking off pretty good. But yeah, that's hopefully a little he, can, he can walk it off, put a little bit of tape on it. Coaches used to tell us back in the day, if you can spit, you're all right. That's right. And he did walk off on his own power, folks, so he's fine. One wide receiver to the right, one to the left, tight end to the right side. Double tight end set. Looks like it's going to be a pass. Wide Middle open. field wide open. Brandon Nations caught incomplete to the 10, to the 5, down to the 4-yard line. Oh, my. And that's a big gainer right there for the Tigers and Darian Peace to my. Brandon Nations. Touchdown saved by number 8, Maddox Moody. 35-yard pickup on that play. Wow. I'm talking about it was three people open by themselves, Joy. Yeah, they were trying to. They were putting eight in the box, Marcus. Yeah, and what the work. Tigers did is sent somebody. That was a great call right there. Man in motion, Jalen Mosley. Fake the jet sweep, hand off to Deuce Hart, and Hart's going to scamper in for the touchdown. Yeah. Touchdown, Tigers. Happy and that feet. touchdown is brought to you by Dennis Flowers Realty. What's up, Flowers? Joy, that was a four-yard touchdown. Dennis Flowers and Kellen Williams. Oh, that's right. Realtor. What's up? Dang. I'll get it right in a minute. You got it. Juan Gonzalez now will come in to attempt the extra point out of the hold of Judson Driscoll. Tigers have some personnel late arriving on the field on that special teams unit. Try to tack this extra point on. 
So the Tigers score quick. Yeah, very quick. They say that lightning strikes fast, and it has struck here at Goat Field. Enjoy. It's what? It's up and good. Consecutive. Hey, how many of that? Boy, he did it. Uh, well, he, last he, week, he's perfect him? all year long, Marcus. Oh, my God. 7 to 0, 8.33 left to play in the first quarter. You're listening to the Malakoff Tiger Sports Network on SHN Sports. It's in the game. We'll be back. Let's Go Tigers. HF Family Table Market is now open in downtown Malakoff at 213 South Terry Street. We feature family recipes such as lasagna, veal piccata, chicken parmesan, scallops, chili, gumbo, soups, salads, paninis, and lots more. Oh, and we have dessert ranging from lemon, strawberry, carrot, and hummingbird cakes, old fashioned blueberry pie, blueberry cream cheese, and lemon cream cheese pies. Looking to fire up your grill after the game? We got you covered with our eight ounce choice beef fillets, 14 ounce prime cowboy Boy cut ribeyes, choice beef patties, and 32 ounce tomahawk steaks, Wagyu beef hot dogs, and smoked jalapeno cheddar sausages. At HF Family, we offer a wide selection of craft beer, wine, oils, sauces, Bloody Mary mixes, and so much more. In a hurry, call ahead and place your order or make a reservation for dinner. At all right, folks, we're back here. Groves Beck, Texas. Your Malakoff Tigers on top by a score of 7 to 0. Compliments yes, of a deuce heart. Four-yard Four yard touchdown yeah. run after Brandon Nation's 35-yard reception from Darren Peach to set that up. A long line drive kick fielded at the five-yard line. He's going to bring it out. And uh, that is going to be the young man wearing number six, John Reed. Oh. And Reed is uh, put gently to the turf, to put it mildly, <laughs> by Cannon Poteet. And Nation's. Oh, my. And Brandon Nation's both. I, I tell you what, you know, uh, Grosbeck, I don't mean to say this – in a bad way, but they, they look like they're tiptoeing out there they, right they, now. They are tiptoeing, Joe. They, they, they kind of like those goals that just fall to the side when you say, oh, they fall. <laughs> and a penalty on the play. And now it's going to be first down and 10 from the 17-yard line of the Goats for Grossbeck. Eight minutes, 24 seconds in the first quarter. Seven old Tigers. McQuay Smith in the backfield with quarterback Allen Lewis. Two wide receivers left, two to the right. It's going to be a handoff to Lewis, and Poteet and company is there to make the stop. Waiting on them. Lost his helmet like that was. And yeah, Cole Gaddis on the stop yeah. as well. He'll have to come he out of play. Out. Yeah, knocked his helmet off. Come so on, that, Cole. That, uh, good to see Ruiz back in there. Yep, Ruiz back in the house. Zamir Ruiz. Yes, sir. And number 65 comes in for Cole Gaddis for the Tigers. That's Trevor Jarvis. Okay, old Trevor. Lewis, the quarterback, spread formation, two to the left, two to the right. It's going to be a quick out pattern down the oh. side. It's going to be almost oh. picked off. Goodness good gracious. Play. Good play. He and that ball was underthrown right there, and yeah. that was Bryson Adair coming up yeah. from the safety spot. Yeah. And he recognized it was a short throw and did almost did an acrobatic catch yes, there in, in bringing that interception down. Yeah, after the tip, he kind of. It's going to be third down and eight yards to go for the Goats. Still with seven minutes, 43 seconds left in the first quarter. This is a crucial third down. Tigers might yeah, I, take I think again. The, I think the receiver there, uh, Tyson Pringle, just outran yeah. that pass. So, Lewis again back to pass. Three-step drop. Back steps in up in the pocket. Throws downfield. Has a oh. man, and he drops it. Oh, let me tell you like and this. And that's Pringle. He drops it yep. right there. Pringle. And he had Jalen Mosley toasted. Yeah, beat. And that was a touchdown for the college draw. Maybe he got a too many Pringles and, you know, slippery. But it was right in <laughs> his hand. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, no pun intended. Yeah. Mosley just dropped the ball yeah. right there, and that, that almost ooh. cost the Tigers six. No, Pringle just dropped the ball right there. But, yeah, ooh, well, man. both of them, yeah. Wow. They got to watch that one. So the Goats will have to punt this ball away. And it's Zach Ellison punting the ball for the Grossback Goats. Mm. There's a snap. Nice spiraling snap and a short kick. But it goes to the opposite side of where Driscoll was at. And Driscoll's just going to yeah, let it Driscoll die. It takes a favorable Tiger bounce across the 45 to the 46-yard line. Picked up by Brandon Marrow. So the Tigers will have good field position here from their own 46-yard line to start this drive. <laughs> kind of reminds us of last week at the 40 once again. Though. Yeah, yeah. And and that's where If you get the ball at your 40-yard line, it's, 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 and it's a short field to work yes, with. Yes, sir. Wow, wow. 
Tigers only it only took them five plays last drive, Marcus, to score. Let's see how many it takes this time for the Tigers. Two backs in the backfield, Langley and Deuce Hart. Yep. It's going to be a handoff to Langley. Langley around the right side, running through defender, still on his feet, and then pushed backwards after a gain of seven yards. It'll be second down and three for the Tigers, but a seven-yard gain for Langley. Yeah. And I thought if Langley would have kept that to the, kicked just, it to the outside, he probably would have scored there. I was there. just going to say that. Got to kick that to the outside. I know he, was, he just quite didn't follow his block. Uh, well, he, he fell. He, he followed the block, but the, the thing is, kick the, he had a good block sealed, and he should have hit to the outside. There you go. Empty backfield set. Man in motion is Mosley. It's going to be a bubble screen, and this oh. time incomplete. Mm. And I tell you what, Fulton for the Tigers got away yeah. with one right there because yeah. he tackled right. the defender, and that should have been called, but yeah. it wasn't. The thorn was thrown to Carter Fuller. He just couldn't hold it. Third down and three yards to go for the Tigers here. Mm. Hard in the backfield, so Grosbeck kind of stepping up now. Yeah. Grosbeck running that uh, three-man front. They're having eight in the box right now. And it's going to be oh. a handoff to Hart, and Hart's going to be Ooh, just short. shy of first yeah. down yardage. That'll be a two-yard gain for Hart. The this, Tigers will probably go for yeah, it right they should, here. They should go for that. One of the things you can look at right here, the middle of the field is wide open. They're playing a one-deep safety, putting right. eight in the box go right now to stop them. the run. Exactly. So the pass is wide open. Fake the run, and it's open like it was earlier. Well, you could let your tight end go loose right exactly. here, you know, Nations, and he'll probably pop, pop free again. Again, now uh, zero coverage, no wow. safety Ooh, in the back coverage. at all. They're, they're playing run all the way here. Wow. And it's going to be a run. Handoff to Deuce Hart. Hart has enough for the first down. Yes, sir. It'll be a two-yard pickup for Hart. And, and it's very dangerous for Grosbeck to play eight, nine in the box like you. that because if Deuce Hart breaks it, it's no one's going to catch it. Exactly. So they're they're loading up the box, trying to stop the run. And it looks like the Tigers may be setting up for something right here. Riggin yeah. Smith in the game with Mosley. Nathan Jones on the left side is tied in for the Tigers. Hart in the backfield. And Jalen Hart. The lone wide receiver to uh -oh. the visitor sideline here. I feel a touchdown right here. I feel it. I believe they're changing the play right here, Marcus. Yeah, like they're trying to blitz. Yeah, Peace now directs Hart to move. Stay to the left side. First down. It's going to be a pass. There it is across the middle. Riggin Smith, and there it was, my friend. You got him. Wait that. We read that like a book. So that'll be first down and 10, a pickup of around 14 yards, we'll call it. Five minutes, 26 seconds left in the first quarter. Your score is 7-0, to zero, and uh-oh, I think we're going to get 14 on here in a minute. Yeah, Riggin Smith, beautiful route that yeah. time. Kind of a five-yard in a post. Yeah. Two receivers left, one to the right. It's going to be another pass this time to Jalen Hart, oh, and he Hart drops it. the ball. Ooh. And, you know, Hart's having those problems that Riggin Smith had last right. year. And, and, and Riggin, right. I, I want to speak about Riggin yeah, really. just for a minute here while we're waiting for the play to start. But Riggin Smith has really come on big time yes, for the sir. Tigers this year. Yes, you know, we watched him drop quite a few passes last year. But, boy, has he played lights out this year I'm for the to Tigers. Kudos to that young man. Three to the right, one tight end to the left. Deuce Hart will be right behind the quarterback piece. Pistol formation. This will be a handoff to Hart, and Hart finds a little bit of running room. Gain of three. Brought down by Zach Wilson. Yeah, and Fulton right there for the Tigers, Quentin mm -hmm. Fulton, uh -huh. just didn't push his man just far enough downfield right, right, for Deuce Hart right. to get free. Uh, kind of hit him and stop. Free. I think they're kind of getting used to when they hit him. The well, running back's going to get out of there. Well, but you got to keep As a fellow ball. lineman, He's got to keep driving those exactly. feet and driving that, driving. driving his man I'm straight back to the end zone. I'm with you. Man in motion's heart. Looks for the jet sweep. Quarterback keeper now. And Peace to the 20, over the 20, down to about the 19-yard line. Brought down by 53, Ethan Gonzalez. So a gain of five for Darion Peace, his first carry of the ball game. Fourth down and short now. We'll call it one yards to go. Or one yard to go. Yeah, one yard to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. It's fourth down, Joy. Fourth and short, like you said. Yeah, and this this should be a run here. Yeah. Oh, offside. And there's an offside. Replay. A handoff to Hart. 
and Hart has the first down. Let's see what they do. They're going to – well, they're going to decline that, really. See, Hart is going to gain. Let's see where they spot the ball, Marcus. They're yeah. still – Yeah, they haven't put it I down. think that they took the penalty yardage is what happened. Uh -huh. So, it's going to be first down at the 14-yard line. And, again, our vantage point is a little skewed up here. It's kind of hard to see out of this press box. Yes, sir. I'm glad to see it. It'll, be the, it'll be the 14 yard line, Marcus. Okay, 14 yard line it is. So, pistol First. pistol formation. Langley in the backfield now for the Tigers in the pistol. Nathan Jones goes in motion right to left. There's a snap. And here's going to be the old. Oh, a little, oh, bit too little high. pass to. A little smoke and mirror yeah, there to Jalen Mosley. Yeah, and couldn't get it. Too high. Yeah. Peace still needs to learn to set his feet right yeah. there to make that good throw. Yeah, he, he's he's throwing it. on the run right there, and he's kind of. Caddy bonkered out of the way where, exactly. he, where he's just trying to throw off balance, and he had plenty of time to set up there yeah. and throw the ball to yeah, Jalen. No, yeah, nobody mostly. in sight to you know just kind of just ease it on in, lightly throw it, and make that free play. Well, it was a good play action, but uh, yeah. it looked like it didn't fool anybody for Grosbeck. Second down and ten, up and coming. There's the handoff to Langley, and Langley trucks Ooh. his way down to about the seven yard line. Knocked down by Zach Wilson, joined by his two string. Oh my! Yeah, I think they're going to call it the. Eight-yard line, so a gain of five for Langley. Enjoy. They still can get a first down on here. They'll have to get to about the, I want to say, five-yard yeah, line, five yard. Marcus, four-yard yeah. line. Yeah. They'll need to get to the four-yard line for a first down. It's third down, but it's four-down territory right here if you're the Tigers. Langley still in the backfield. Langley now goes in motion left to right. Design quarterback keeper, and that's Peace, puts his head down, gets the first down to the three-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup on the play, and a Malakoff Tiger first down. First and goal, baby. Two minutes, 42 seconds left in the first quarter. Ball is on your three-yard line. Like the Tigers just going to push this in, or Maybe another quarterback sneak. Yeah, it Let's looks see. like they're – Looking over to Coach Driscoll for something. They yeah. could have a little slant pattern called here. Look yeah. for Hart. Single coverage all by itself to the right. Everybody's playing the run right now. And here goes Mosley in motion. Looking for the pass. And Look. nice job by a piece of Ford and one. And throws oh. downfield. The pass is dropped. incomplete. Oh, my. And that was, I believe, Nathan Jones who dropped that ball. Good power. He put some power on that ball, Joy. Well, and he bought time by giving the old stiff arm to the defender oh, yeah. of the goats there oh, yeah. and Knocked rolling out to the you. left. Yeah, he Threw the ball, a little bit too much mustard on it, though, as Nathan Jones just couldn't corral it in for the score. Yeah. Second down and goal now. 2-10 left to play here in the first quarter. Tigers up 7-0. Yes, sir. Hart back in the contest now for the Tigers. One wide receiver right, two to the left. Hand off to Hart. Hart's going to get in the end zone. There he is. And in a big way, runs over a GOAT defender yes, to go did. into the end zone behind the block of Nathan Jones. So a great block by Jones freeing up Deuce Hart. And that will get the yeah. Tigers six more points on the board. Deuce for his second touchdown, a four-yard and a three-yard touchdown. Deuce, happy feet, Hart. So Hart with two more. Gonzalez coming on to attempt the point after out of the hole to Driscoll. The kick is up, and it is good. Good, like it should. 2.03 left to play in the first. You're listening to the Malakoff Tiger Sports Network on SHN Sports. Tigers up 4-0. We'll be back. If you're looking for a church home, please feel free to come worship with us at Hilltop Worship Center in Malakoff. Sunday gathering is at 10 a.m., and on Wednesdays, we have Hilltop Kids and Chosen Youth starting at 6 p.m. Here at Hilltop Worship Center, we love supporting our local schools and our wonderful students, along with programs they enjoy, including athletics, band, cheerleading, ag, and theater. We are proud of all of our local students, and good luck. All right, folks, welcome back, Grosbeck, Texas. Yes, sir. The Tigers all over the goats right now, having a little Boracoa. 14 to 0 is the score. Okay. <laughs> yes, sir. Like the Tigers like goat meat. I, you like goat meat, Joe? Oh, I love it. I'm telling you. Goat milk, too. Bad. Mm. Kind of bad, huh? 
Well, I tell you what, the Tigers making it look easy so far here in the first half. Yes, sir. Shout out to Eric Hall and Garland. What's up? Hello, Eric. Thanks for tuning in once again, my friend. Yes, sir. And everybody who's tuning in, we appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying this game tonight. Tigers 1-0 in district. This is a District 8 contest, second district game of the season for the Tigers. Thursday night football. There's the kick, a low line driver. Dry, low line drive, uh, fielded at the 21. Oh, look. And Nathan Jones hey, is going to. I, t- I tell you what, Nathan Jones ain't going to let him go, Joe. Yeah, he, he's not. <laughs> he that was Brandon Morrow. And, and I tell you what, Grosbeck's got some pretty big kids yeah. over there, Marcus, and, yeah. and they're young. Yeah, I seen when Nathan grabbed that boy, that boy looked pretty big. Yeah, he wasn't going to go down. Usually, Man. you know, Nathan can, uh, yeah. t- can get him down pretty quick. So, Lewis back in at quarterback. Directing uh, Smith in the backfield. Two wide receivers to the left, two to the right. Tigers have to watch that over the middle here. There's a quick bubble screen pass out to the right side. No clue. A nice little gainer for about yeah. nine oh, yards. Oh, yeah, it did go pretty far. I thought it – I was looking wrong, Joe. Yeah, that, that was a nice play. Yes, sir. To the receiver, Chris yeah. Cock. No, excuse me, that's uh, Brandon Morrow, 28. Like that was the GOAT's longest play right there, Joe, a nine-yard screen. It is so far. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Morrow had a big game last week against Eustace as well. He's a speedster. Oh, yeah. Trips to the left, one wide receiver right, ball spotted on the home side hash. There's going to be a handoff to Smith, and Smith broke free for the first down and a gain of about six yards on the play. All right, Smith. For Smith. And and that's just where you've got to wrap up right there if you're the Tiger you know, front four, you got to put those arms around and hold on and let the yeah, linebackers clean on. that plow. I'm trying to tell you. So the Tigers now allowing the first first down of the night for the Goats. Three wide receivers left, one to the right. Smith on the right side of Lewis now. Nation's applying pressure. Hand off to Lewis. Lewis darts Uh-oh. away from the Tigers. 45-40. And finally drug out of bounds, and that's going to be a – Penalty called on Davion Tolliver. Yeah, man. You can't – once he's out of bounds, you can't, you can't touch the offensive player. Yeah, Jalen Hart ran him out of bounds, but other guys, I guess he didn't know he was out of bounds, Joe. Well, that was Tolliver, actually, number six. Yeah. Wow. Look at her. And, you know, Lewis has got some spring to him. You can't just let – you can't afford yeah. to just let him sit back there and, and pick his hole because he will. He showed his true color. Shout out to Neil Targeton. What's up, guy? In the beautiful Brandy Thompson. I see you, girl. Lewis at quarterback. Smith on the right side of Lewis. Three wide receivers to the left, one to the right. Tigers need to stop this drive right now before the Goats gain some momentum. There's the handoff, mm-hmm. and this time they the Tigers go, they, do a say, great job. Yeah, Gaddis stopped him at the line, Joey. So no gain on the play. Second down and 10. Gaddis said, uh, not no more. Nuh-uh. You got me once. They ain't give me twice. Zamir Ruiz now checks into the game. Can't really see that number, but that's the end of the yeah, first, end of quarter first quarter that's it. here in Grosbeck with your Malakoff Tigers on top by a score of 14 to 0. You're listening to Malakoff Tigers Sports Network on SHN Sports. It's in the game. We'll be back. A home is not a home because of the room dimensions or the color of the walls. It's about how you feel when you walk through the front door. It's the vision you have along with the warm feelings in your heart when you realize that this is where God wants you to be. Your experience is more than real estate with me. It's about your life and dreams. At Keller Williams, independent agent Dennis Fires takes the approach of your home buying choice and dreams to heart. Dennis is a small town guy with a servant's heart. With Dennis Flowers as your next realtor, Dennis will listen to your wants, needs, and dreams and find solutions tailored to you by using all the latest technologies, market research, and business strategies to exceed your expectations. If you're looking for an honest, hardworking realtor, then choose Malakoff's own Dennis Flowers, an independent agent of Keller Williams. Dennis proudly supports the Malakoff Tigers and Lady Tigers and wants to wish them good luck this sports year. You can call Dennis at 972-938-2222 or 214-980-3906. That's 972-938-2222 or 214-980-3906. Or email Dennis. Dennis at teamflowers at kw.com. Dennis can also be found on Facebook and Twitter. All right, welcome back, folks. Yes, sir. Rosebeck, Texas. 
Your Malakoff Tigers are up 14 to 0. Yes, we are. But Grosbeck driving. Lewis back to pass. Three step drop, climbs up in the pocket, throws downfield, oh. incomplete. Too high for Zach Wilson. Stopped by Darian, I mean, uh, Deuce Hart. Is that Deuce Hart out there? I must have seen the wrong number. No, that is number, number four, four, Marcus, number four. and that's uh, Hayden, oh, Hayden Thomas. Thomas. Oh, Hayden. They cousins. Been a long day, ain't it? Yeah, been a long day. So, now third down, nine yards to go for the Goats. I'd like to set out to my, this young man named Justin Siebert and his mom, Ashley Siebert. What's going on? Three wide receivers to the left, one to the right. Lewis, your quarterback for Grosbeck. Lewis, three-step drop. Looks left. Pump oh, fakes it. Oh, my ouch. goodness. Is he leveled by Cole Gaddis? Ouchie, ouch. And oh. we wondered how well he could take a hit. Yeah. And he just took a massive yeah, hit from Cole it. Gaddis. He took That's it. a shoulder separator right oh, there, my friend. My neck and my back. Fourth down in about oh, 17, 18 to go for the Goats. And I believe they're going to go for it, but I don't know if Lewis knows where he's at right yeah, now. He's, he's trying to kind of say which way did he go. Mm, mm, mm. Well, that was one of them lookout blocks right there, yeah, and, he, and you didn't have much time to say uh, look out. Came from the blind side. Three wide receivers left, two to the right, empty backfield set. Back to pass, three-step drop. Oh, Looks uh, left, throws left, deep downfield. It's going to be a jump ball. And it's step. picked off by Carter Fuller. Fuller got it for a touchback. And the Tigers will have the ball. And, and, you know, that's pretty – I guess they're going to trade a couple yards there. Yeah. But the Tigers have the ball to 25. We'll take it. With 11 minutes – Make five, that to 20, yeah. I'm sorry. With 11 minutes, five seconds left in the first half, 14-0, to zero, Tigers on the 20, on the 20 yard line, ready to do what they do again. Let's see. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, hey, Grosbeck did a good job throwing the ball downfield as a jump ball. And how about Carter Fuller jumping up and getting the first pick of the yes, season sir. for himself? Hey, oh, yeah, we'll take that. You're right. So, a great job by Carter Fuller. Fuller. We just talked about him earlier with his blocking last week, and oh, he comes yeah. up big on defense. With the intercept. Tigers come out, four wide receivers set, one back in the backfield, man in motions is Nathan Jones. It's going to be a lateral to Jones, and, and Jones yeah, is it, picked up and hit and drove uh, back. One kind of a good lateral. He kind of slowed down on the pick. Trying to run a little option ball. play yeah, right yeah. there. It I, didn't work out pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I know he's a good runner and everything, but that, that didn't yeah. work out too well. Yeah. I think they kind of smelt that one. Yes, sir. Well, you know, you had you had Jones clearly going in motion. The linebackers and everybody saw him because it was a slow developing play. Mm -hmm. Hardly no play fake there at all. Peace. And that's a backside uh -oh. screen this time to Jones. Jones to the 20, 25. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Stiff arms, one defender to uh -oh. the 30. Has a first down and a nice play right there for Nathan Jones. Hit out of bounds by Bradley Manziel for the Goats. Uh-oh. What if he came to Manziel? No, it was spelled differently. Oh. I saw that earlier, too. Oh, okay. Jones with a gain of eight yards and a Tiger first down. Ball spotted on the 32-yard line of the Tigers. It's a nice play right there. Oh, yeah. I we'll really like that, how that developed. Yeah. We'll take it. Three wide receivers left, one to the right. Tight end on the right, Jones. Jones goes downfield. Peace, back to pass. Throws oh, one down open. to a wide open. Oh, and Smith. Oh, no. Oh, yes. He dropped By himself. Oh, my goodness. By himself. Yeah. I don't know what to say. Well, you. You, you can't – Yeah, it was kind of too easy. You, you've got yeah. to yeah. look that ball into yeah. your hands until you wow. have it. You know, you had time to make the catch. I mean, I think yeah. he was more worried about catching the football and scoring a touchdown. I think that's what it was. The nearest defender was about eight yards back from him, so just uh, let that one slip away. Second wow. down and ten for the Tigers. Two wide receivers left, one to the right. Grosbeck playing a one-deep safety. It's going to be a quarterback keeper by Peace. Peace uh -oh. calls Peace his own number, the 40, Peace. 45, midfield, 45, 40. Top ropes the sidelines, and it's coming back. It's coming back, baby. I see a flag. So, penalty marker thrown about the 32-yard wow. line. That's going to be a hold right there. It's yeah. coming back. Going to wipe out a big gainer right there by Peace. So, 
So, yeah, you can't do that. Mm, mm, mm. So that negates a big run right there, and you kind of wonder how he got so open, and that yeah. was how- <laughs> With a little bit of his speed also. Yeah, that was uh, Jose Morales. Come on, Morales. With a hold right there. That moves the ball back to the 23 almost, Joe. Let's see. I believe he just tackled him to the ground. Yeah, yeah, he kind of. Because the Grosbeck defender was was picking pieces of his uniform off the ground. <laughs> oh man! Hey, if you're gonna get him, get yeah, him. Yeah, hey, get him friend. right. Get a good, yeah, get a good penalty. Got to keep that quarterback. Grosbeck showing signs of a blitz to the strong side. There's a little screen to Driscoll. There Driscoll, you. 25. Driscoll oh. stretches out to the 30 yard line. Almost got away. He almost got away. He was tackled by. Number 44, Mr. Hunter Flippin. Yeah, I said it. His name was Hunter Flippin. Going to be a seven-yard pickup for Driscoll on that completion or reception and completion for the quarterback, Darian Peach, for the Tigers. Third down and yeah. unusual 12 for the Tigers. Unusual they don't 12. get into many yeah. of these. On the 30-yard line, nine minutes, four seconds left in the first half. 14-0, Tigers. Three wide receivers right, one to the left. Peace back to pass. Blitz coming from a strong side. He loses the blitz. Someone picks up the blitz. Pass down field is incomplete. Ooh. And Driscoll tries to go up in the air for the jump ball. Yeah. Coach Nothing say, doing yeah. in the Tigers. Yeah, like to punt, punt this one away. Yeah, Coach saying let's go and punt this. We're not gelling right now. Gross back goats kind of showed their defense this time, Joe. Well, they, they they flexed their hind quarters on that one, Marcus. Yeah, they did. <laughs> it flexed their horns, huh? <laughs> man, oh man! So, Eight. and this is what you got to watch out for if you're the Tigers. You right. can't you can't just stop and not play. Right. You know, you've got to keep pushing the issue. Maybe run the ball a little bit more yeah. too. Just yeah, because high just snap. The There's the punt oh, by no. Nathan Jones. It's the, a the not shot. a good punt. No. And it'll be favorable field position for the Goats. And now yeah. everything seems to be unraveling here for the wow. Tigers. And that's just a 12-yard punt for Jones, his worst of the season. Man, oh, man. The Tigers just kind of need to. Well, they gave a little know, bit more now. On. So about a 15, 16-yard punt, but still not very good. It gives yeah. Grosbeck field position in Tiger territory once again. Yeah. Oh, that ball on the 46-yard line looking like. Yeah, and we talked Man. about field position and how it yeah. plays a role in games for teams, and right. it did for Malakoff, and now it looks like uh, Grosbeck is having some opportunity here. Yeah, defense got to step up right here. Lewis, the quarterback, it's going to be a little delayed draw to Smith, and Smith Ooh. does his best sidestep imitation of Deuce Hart. No happen. And he gains about one or two on the play. Hit by Ricky Harris. He said, come here. So two yards on the play. For Smith, Tiger's doing a good job at containing Smith, but he is a speedster. Yeah. If he gets open, he, is, he, he, he can fly. Like we saw earlier, yeah. He got a little loose for a minute. And here we go once again. Smith just a sophomore, too. Pass down field is going to be complete. And a nice hit that time by Jalen Mosley, but the pass oh. is completed, Jaylen. but only for three yards. Mosley hit him in. Kind of looked over him a little bit and say, hey, well, don't I come you, here anymore. He, he held his composure yes, greatly he because he could have taunted him right there. Yeah, he could have taunted him. And he did not. So, he, yeah. that's a heads-up play by the defender yes, right there for the Tigers. Yeah, when it feels good like that, you don't got to prove nothing. I, I got to give him credit right yeah. there because he could have really showed out and he did yeah. not. He said, take Great this to the Great sportsmanship house. right there. Mm. Three wide receivers to the right, one to the left. Watch the quarterback draw right here. He likes to run. Back to pass. Going to be a screen pass. Oh. Oh. oh, no. He, The Tigers just <laughs> yeah. trying to bump him, and, and that's not going to work. Zamir Ruiz didn't put his arms out to try to tackle him. He thought he could just hit him and knock him down, and he did not do it. And it's a first down for Grossback. Well, Joe, that was KB on Davis hit him for five yards. <laughs> was it Davis? Yeah, KB on Davis. Okay, it yeah. was Davis then. KB on Davis hit him. I mean, you got to wrap gave, up. Yeah, gave him another five yards, knocked him forward. So, gave him a first down, too. Oh, my. Two wide receivers right, two to the left. Smith in the backfield. Another pass out to Morrow. And oh, oh, my, no. that's a face mask. Yeah, I, mean, I don't they think they seen it. They though. didn't see it. They didn't see it. He got it. Now he's seen it. Yeah. Man. Yeah, that's going to be a 15-yarder right there. Yeah, that's going to take it up a little bit. 
Yeah, man. And I believe they got Brandon Nations right there with yeah. the old face mask Yeah, he he played a little cowboy and Indian now. Well, not cowboy, the roping the, the cow. It horse. looks like he was shooting a bow and arrow to me. He mm. grabbed that helmet and pulled back on it. Yes, he did. <laughs> man. Oh, my, they waved it off. Look, oh. Ooh. I might look at that again. Maybe, maybe he grabbed his shoulder pads or something. Well, Marcus, I don't think so. <laughs> Hey, we ain't going to say nothing, though. If shoulder pads looks like face masks, I'm then telling you. Ugh. something's going on. <laughs> man, oh, man. <laughs> Second down and 12 for the Goats. It yes, works sir. out for the Tigers, yeah. but, oh, boy. Six minutes, 35 seconds left in the first half. 14 to 0. Tigers still on top. Two receivers left, to the right. Ball spotted on the near side. Hash. Back to pass. Lewis on a dime. Oh. And Morrow just couldn't get it. Yeah. And Mosley had an opportunity to, take to it on dive on. for it and, and yeah. grab the interception possibly and couldn't do it either. Enjoy it right here in the situation. you got to kind of punt this, but you know what I mean? Like, they might go for it. Well, it's, it's, it's third down and it's 12. It's third down and 12. They might not go to here. I don't think they want to They go might for not it. punt here because it's third down and 12. But, hey, <laughs> you're sure right, George. I thought it was fourth down and 12. <laughs> My bad. I was trying to give you a subtle hint yeah. by saying the words I, third down. I had, I had to look. I just saw him switching it. <laughs> I was like, well, oh, he's two wide up. receivers right to the left. Tell you what, Lewis is looking pretty good back there. Three step drop for Lewis. Looks left, little screen pass to Smith. He's being held. And they there's the hit holder. and a fumble on the play. And Grosbeck gets it. And that's going to be a first Fred down. down because of the fumble. But you and, saw that hold. That, that I guess a, he got away from the face. Well, that, that was a blatant hold yeah. on the far sideline. Yeah. So they've missed two so yeah. far back to back. I guess they say we missed the. Face mask, we get them with this. Let's see there. Let them hold. Oh, that, I thought that's, that was a first down. Let's see. The ball was on the, no, the ball needs to get to the 24 for a first. Oh, my. So it's going to be fourth down and one. Well, you go for this right here. You should. Well, yeah, but you're probably going to call a timeout. Yeah. If you're gro and they do. They're going to yeah. call a timeout to talk about it right here. Call so I can think about that one. The Tigers now uh, backing back on their heels here mm. by the Goats and – Tigers need to stiffen up a little bit. You know, you, you're you're making some uncharacteristically arm tackles right. by you the defense, and you can't do it. You, you got to wrap up. You can't do that hidden wrap. We was always taught to hidden wrap, George, yeah. every time. And, and that's what I, you know, I got accustomed to. Yeah, you, you come into this game favored by 40. Oh, yeah. And, and then, you know, you score too quick, and then, uh-oh, yeah. you know, Everything kind of just sees. Yeah, and yeah. Down. That garage door is starting to shut down a little bit, you right, know. Right. And and Grosbeck now is trying to put themselves into this game. If right. they score right here, they will put themselves right back in this yeah, contest. Be a here. good and game. The, and the Tigers have to uh, to seize the opportunities once they get them. Be a, a touchdown away, but you know, Tigers are always the second half player, Joy. So well, they, they are. Come and, back and, and, get down. and they did something similar to this when they played here two years ago as right. well. Mm -hmm. It was a tight game going to the half, and the Tigers blew them out in the second half. But this is a different team here. Looks like Lewis may be going under center right here, maybe a quarterback keeper. Let's see. Let's see what he does. Tigers stacking up for the run. And it's going to be a handoff to Smith. And I don't think oh Smith got my. it, Marcus. Oh. Smith did not get the first down. Got the mighty. Let's see. What they they turn the ball over the to the ball Tigers. Over. Boy, what the a Tigers great do it defense. on the stand. Tiger Nason. And, Mad and Tigers I, defense. I, I tell you what, that was the whole defensive front right I'm there that did you. that job. Mad what a Tigers great play defense. right there. And I thought Lewis would call his Ooh, own number. Yeah. I didn't understand uh, under center right there and just to turn around Man. hand the ball off to Smith. That gave the opportunity for the defensive lineman to rush in, in which they didn't. Plaster man, oh man. Smith. And that was Zamir Ruiz on that hit. First down and 10 for the Tigers. As you speak of Zamir Ruiz, he's playing left tackle for the Tigers right now. Brandon Nations is the tight end. And there's a the jet Mosley. sweep to Jalen Mosley. Uh -oh. 30, 40, 45 midfield, taken out of bounds there. Woo. Knocked out of bounds by number 20. 25 yard pickup right there. Yeah. For Jalen Mosley. Yeah, he was brought down by Brian Valentine. He almost broke that one and took it to the house. I'm trying to tell you. So, great job that time by Mosley. Yes, sir. Little speed option or jet sweep, if you will. I will. Now, Jalen Hart and Mosley 
Two receivers to the right for the Tigers. Jones to the left. Going to be a handoff to Deuce Hart. Happy Heat. Hart Woo. is going to gain close to first down yardage on that run. They're yep. going to give him nine. Brought down again, once again, by Brian, Brian and, Valentine. And this is what you want to do if you're the Tigers, yeah, Marcus. Just run it, yeah, get around. You've already showed your will and imposed your will running the football. Yes, sir. Just keep running it right here. Run, run, run. Shout out to Tyler Russell. What's up, guy? One of the – going to go to the Hall of Fame, too. Yeah, he yeah, should. Bad boy. He should. State champion in the high Stop jump. Everything. One of the better receivers I've seen in the history of I'm Malacoff football. Tell you, catch it and, and take off. I'm telling you. Shout out to Marcus Jr. watching in. Listen hey, to Hey, Jr. What's up, homie? Trips to the left, one wide receiver right. Back to pass is Peace. Peace down. And no oh. incomplete. A little bit too far. Man. Yeah, they're just going to the well one too many times. I know they're trying to get the ball to the receivers, but, you know, now you bring up – you got third down here. And I know that you take a chance on second down because it's second down and one. Right. But, let me you know, go on, take it, see what we got. I'm just going to keep running the football, my friend. I'm with you. And, yeah, you know, just run some of this clock off, go on second half, and, you know, talk about it and go on, get take these guys off the map. Pistol formation. This is going to be a handoff and hard. A little bit more. Yes, sir. Just like that, brought down by number two, Holloway. Hart with five. 427 left to play in this half. Tigers still up 14 to zero. Yes, sir. Right now, the game is kind of slow-paced, Joy. We're not kind of used to, you know, just well, kind of dragging. Tigers, like, we kind of yeah, dragging a little, are a little bit. off right Yeah, we're kind of dragging a little bit. I know you guys want to. Hard in the backfield. Peace the quarterback. Peace looks downfield. Has a man wide open. Wide Nations open. to the 10. Five. Walk the dog. Touchdown, Brandon Nations. <laughs> he said walk the dog. Oh, oh. And Brandon Nations scores. Sixth for the Tigers, and that is a Dennis Flowers, Kevin <laughs> Keller Williams, <laughs> realtor touchdown. Yes, sir. So a great uh, pass right there, and that caught him off guard big time. 35 yard touchdown, Joy. Juan Gonzalez comes in to attempt the extra point out of the hold of Judson Driscoll. Snap is good, the hold is good, kick is up on its way, and good. And with four minutes left to play in the half, it's now your Malakoff Tigers up by a score of 21-0. You're listening to Malakoff Tigers Sports Network on SHN Sports. Yes, sir. We'll be back. Are you closer to 50 than you are to 30? Now you can get back to that 30-year-old body and you don't have to wait any longer. The brand new state-of-the-art MTX Fitness Center is right here in good old Malakoff, Texas. At MTX Fitness Center, we have a wide variety of equipment for beginners or the avid weightlifters. We also have a cardio room with availability for daily workouts. They said if you build it, they will come. Well, folks, Brandon Phillips and family built it and now it's your turn to come on in and get signed up to work on improving your overall health and dropping those unwanted pants sizes. No more driving to other cities to work out. You save money, time, and gas. Our prices here at the MTX Fitness Center is just $39.99 a month with a one-time enrollment fee of just $19.99. What a deal, right? We've got another deal for you also. We offer discounted rates for military, fire department, law enforcement, teachers, and senior citizens. Go on by and see them at 414 West Royal Boulevard. They're right next door to the Sonic. Or you can call MTX Fitness at 903-880. All right, folks, welcome back. Welcome back, Carter. Tigers are teeing it off from our right to our left. Gonzalez. There's the kick. End over end, high kick. Bit of a deep kick. Fielded at the seven-yard line he's by Lewis. He's taking it out. But, and, uh, uh oh no It'll love. be taken down at the 23-yard line, it looks like. Yes, sir. Shout out to Winston Butler. What that way over there in Arp, Arp, Texas. Appreciate you, man. Oh, Arp Tigers. Oh, yeah, Arp Tigers. Y'all oh, just like Big us. John Wills used to come from our yeah, ex coach. I'm trying to tell you, if you hear a little noise, it's Big John and his boys. Yes, sir. 21 to 0 is our score. Lewis, the quarterback, Smith in the backfield, two wide receivers left. It's going to be a handoff to Smith and, and nothing what? doing. Oh, my. Uh, met him at the line, Joy. I'm talking about a loss for – that's like about a loss for two or three. That was 65, Jarvis, and 
Who they get off the ground? That was, that's a Zach Studley. Zach Studley. <laughs> Stud. He met him in the backfield and put the popping on him. I'm trying to tell you, Stud ain't playing no game. He might have knocked a horn or two off that goat. I work with his mama. <laughs> I know they hard nose. They don't play no game. I thought it was about a one-yard loss, but they're not going to give him that. They're going to say no gain on the play. Shotgun formation. Lewis looks downfield, throws downfield, wow, has a man, and underthrows his hit target. The ground. Yeah. And he was open. And just like that, Tigers got to stay on their man. This is, I mean, if, if these guys have been open several times, they're just missing the ball. They're getting open. Yeah, the that was Tyson Pringle right Come there. And, and that was, that was on the too, quarterback, Lewis, right yeah, there. Yeah. That was a little too low for. Pringle, the wide receiver. Yeah. But, you know, that uh, Thomas and Driscoll right there, that's yeah. their coverage they got area. got to get it. And, and what he did, he split them on that, on that split play. Split them, split them like a uh, banana. Two wide receivers right, two to the left. Now Lewis under center. Lewis with a handoff to Smith, trying no. to get Smith going. Oh. And Smith comes out of the pile, but Cannon Poteet's able to bring him down. From his linebacker position. Like they say barely. And a timeout on the field charged to the Tigers. That'll be a five-yard gain for Smith and company. Enjoy it like they're going to punt this again. Well, we're going to keep it right here, Marcus. But, yes, yeah, I, I, well, you know, down 21-0. to zero. If, they, if they go in and try to. You know, I, I think I go for it right here Woo. if I'm Gross Bay. Oh, my I really God. do. Well, look. Down the 24-yard line. The uh, only the only thing that's happened so far to Gross Beck uh-huh. is Gross Beck's beating Gross Beck. Right. I mean, they've dropped several key passes that would have been first downs. One could have been a touchdown. So, I mean, you know, they've got the potential here to make this first down on a pass. Right. It's just up to Lewis and his receivers if they can, you know, get together on the same page. Maybe coach is going to try to drop. Well, they got six yards for first. So we'll see what drop, happens. But I, yeah, I draw them offside ain't going to work either. But I believe they're going to punt this ball. Yeah. They, coach thought about it. He was like, yeah, oh. Jerry, Jerry Bomer or – yeah, Jerry Bomer and company and the coaching staff will there decides to punt this one. But you got to yes, watch sir. out for the fake. Hey, mate, if I've been saying it might be yeah. a fake punt. Zach Ellison will handle the punting chores once again. Looks like maybe Judson Driscoll back deep for the Tigers around his own 45. There's the punt. A nice spiraling punt kicked away from the Tigers' return man, Driscoll. And let me tell you something about Driscoll, George. Driscoll wants that ball. And he, and hey, well, he does. I, I was always, I was, I didn't like the, the pump, pump turn team. I, I, I just didn't like it. Well, but I can, I can, that ball. I can tell you one thing. I, I think Grosbeck has done their homework. They, oh, they yeah. saw the touchdown return right. by Adair last week, yeah. and they're kicking it, the ball away, away from the exactly. Malakoff return men right now, right. not giving them the opportunity. Very smart play. Yeah, I like his heart, but I can't, I can't get. So first down for the Tigers from the Tiger thirty-nine yard line. I have a chance to put. Seven more on the board, or at least six right here yeah. before the half. A long two minutes and 48 seconds. So, let's see what the Tigers do here. 21 to zero. One back in the backfield. Three wide to the right, one to the left. Jones in motion right to left. And Peace calls his own number, Peace. And there was a face mask right there on Peace, not called. Yes, sir. And a nice gain for Peace. I believe they're going to give him... Four yards on the play. It'll yeah. be second down and six. Yeah, he was brought down hard by Chris Cox. Not into the face. I mean, the the uh, stiff arm, though. I tell you what, a hunter flipping the nose guard chased him down as well. <laughs> oh, there's a oh, man wide, wide open right there. And now he sees him, and that's going to be caught for a <laughs> touchdown. Oh, my. And look at there. <laughs> this time, Riggin Smith Riggin. says, oh, no, nope, you don't. Uh-uh. Riggin just snuck out and. He's had plenty of time to throw that 55 ball. 55-yard touchdown strike right there for the Tigers, and that's another Dennis Flowers, Kellen Williams, realtor touchdown. Man. And, Joy, you see how he just floated that ball? Well, he had plenty of time. The line gave him protection right there. He didn't see the receiver Smith uh-uh. open at first, but he was wide open. But then he has the arm strength to just sit back sit there. Sit still and throw it. And, and throw it off his back foot wow. at that. There's the kick for the extra point, and it's good. 28-0 to with two minutes and ten seconds left to play in the half. Wow. We're going to keep it right here. He but well. Again, the line gave him plenty of time. He was cleaning the t- pocket and upright. 
And Darian Peace does a good job at going through yeah. his progressions right there. Right. Looking at the left side of the field, looking middle. Didn't even see Riggin Smith popping open uh-huh. on the right side. But he finds him open and, and then just uses his arm strength and just chunks the ball, you know, literally 50 yards downfield for the score. Shout out to the offensive line. Come on now. Yeah, that was a great Woo-wee. offensive line effort right there. Yes, it was. Man, oh, man. I tell you what, the arm strength of, yeah. of Darian Peace, the quarterback, yeah. he, he did make it look easy. I mean, flat-footed, George, 55 yards into the end zone. Yeah, I, I tell you, he, he's, got a, he's got a rocket for an arm. I'm trying to tell you. Man, we, we saw now back-to-back weeks, Tiger receivers, that's four touchdowns in yes. back-to-back weeks. Right. The Tigers had missed, you know, with a long ball. Exactly. And now we're starting to see, you know, Riggin Smith redeems himself from earlier with this yeah. big reception. Yes, sir. So, and he's he's not missed too many all year long, Riggin Smith. He has been on the money this year for the Tigers. Well, Gonzalez man. will use his foot once again to tee it off the Tigers from their own 40-yard line. Two Back minutes. deep is Reed and – Smith, 210 left to play in the half is what you're going to say, yes, Marcus. Sir. Sure, sir. There's a long line drive Whoa. kick in and out of the back of the end zone. It goes, Ugh. and the Goats will take over first down and 10 from their own 25-yard line here. Here we go. Once again. And that was a great kick right there by Gonzalez. And We talk about it, we talk about it, we talk about it, but – Special teams play. You don't give those speedy kids a chance to return that football. Exactly. They do a great job in kicking. And I will say this, that I would kick against anybody in the state of Texas with our special teams the way they've played all year long. Yes, sir. And, Joe, I think right now, Goats need to kind of go in the air and try to see can they well, they may get do some it. of those bombs. You Three wide that. receivers left, one to the right, one back in the backfield. Lewis, the quarterback. Lewis looks left, throws left, pass caught and complete. And that is uh, Morrow again, one of his favorite targets. He does get out of bounds to stop the clock. Passes completed all the way up to the 30-yard line for a five-yard gain, second down and five yards to go. Well, Joy, they didn't stop the clock on this one. They let it keep on going. Well, I thought they – I thought they was out of bounds too, but I guess – Two wide receivers right, two to the left. Morrow again moves now to – our side of the field, which is the right side. He's going to be looking for him again against Thomas. He sits down it's right in that open. zone right oh, there. Ah. The Tigers make the tackle and hold him up at the 40-yard line. But a great I route, you. And, and you've seen that coming. He was going to pick on Thomas exactly. right there because he got between Thomas and the safety and just sat down, and Lewis delivered a bullet to him for the first down and the completion. Right. Morrow again coming to the right side, picking on Thomas again. Two wide receivers left. One to the right, two to the right, excuse me. Lewis now looks left, steps up in a pocket, throws downfield, caught and complete. And the Goats are running this two-minute offense with with ease right now against the Tigers. And I tell you, I I figured they were going to come out That was Tyson Pringle again on the catch. And they call a timeout to think about it now. Timeout taken on the field to play. We'll take a timeout, and we'll be back in one minute. You're listening to Malakoff Tiger Sports Network on SHN Sports. Yes, sir. This portion of tonight's Malakoff Tigers sporting event is being brought to you in part by Sig Peach Insurance of Malakoff, Texas. Sig Peach Insurance is a family independently owned business that has multiple carriers to choose from. Letty Myers and Sig Peach will find the right solution for all of your insurance needs, such as auto, boat, motorcycle, umbrella, life, collector car, flood, pet health, renters, ATV, power sports, recreational vehicle, disability, and health insurance. What are you waiting for? Call or go by the office today for your savings quote so you can enjoy more of your money tomorrow. Remember, Sig Peach is for you. Sig Peach Insurance is located at 214 North Terry Street, Suite A in Malakoff, Texas. The phone number for Sig Peach Insurance is 903-675-7771. 903-675-7771. You can also email Kerry at kerry.peach at sig4u.com or go to their website at www.sig4u.com. All right, folks, we're back. Crowsbeck, Texas. Yes, sir. Thursday night football. Lewis back to pass. Steps up in the pocket under duress. Looks downfield. Throws downfield. Man-to-man coverage. Oh. And what a great play by Jalen Mosley. Jalen say none of that. Give me the ball. And Mosley goes up with the receiver. Brings the ball down. Knocks the ball out of the the hands. Yeah. That could have been a good interception right there. Shout out to the lovely Miss Deanne Graham. How you doing? 
Second down and 10 for the Goats. Two wide receivers to the left, one to the right, one back in the backfield. Lewis, three-step drop, looks to the middle. Oh, oh. Press and put down balls Got on the turf. And a nice play that time by, by Peace. Darian Peace, yes, the quarterback sir. for the Tigers. Peace did that blitz and got him. Davis baby. almost recovered a fumble right there. The yes, Tigers sir. may have one more chance to get this ball back. I don't know, Joe. They declared one of that clock on down. I Tigers think, have two timeouts remaining. I think Grossback coach is being smart right now. Now He's like, let's slow down. Let's take it on to halftime. Well, if, if I were them right now, I would let it That's what he doing. melt down just a tad, but yeah. I would still try to throw one deep here. Look for Smith, maybe get a handoff right here. Lewis under center now. Oh, Look, fumble ball. on the play, and the Tigers could call timeout to get one more chance here at it. And they're not. But they're just going to let it go oh, down. Coach, yeah, Coach called timeout, Joe. Okay, I thought, not it, I thought he was calling timeout. Oh, yeah, he called timeout with, with, with about eight seconds left. But the, Well, I thought he called timeout with ten Yeah, left. ten seconds, I mean. But and the, yeah, Coach is upset. Coach like, hold him up. Oh, yeah, Coach ain't, ain't liking that. Boy, I, I tell you, what a lazy job of officiating that was. Yeah. Let's see what's going to happen here. Yeah, Coach called. Coach Driscoll called timeout with 10 seconds left on the well, clock. The head linesman it, was in La La Land. Right. He was like, I don't see you. And let's see what's up. Well, I'm not sure if he was trying to. Yeah. Send sign language to him because apparently he wasn't hearing what he had to say. <laughs> I'm not sure why a head linesman would need uh, receiver's gloves on anyway to officiate the game. But <laughs> oh, hey, COVID-19. Hey, I you want some gloves on? What's up, Tasha Prince and Danny? Danny Chandler, what's on? What's good? Boy, howdy, I tell you. They put seven seconds on the clock, Joy, so let's see. Well, it should have been ten, but okay. Oh, my. Well. well There's the punt. It may be returned here. It's eight air now in the game for the Tigers. Eight uh -oh. air across the 40. Go out of, goes out of bounds at the 44. And that will be the end of the first half here at Grosbeck, Texas, with the Malakoff Tigers on top in a big way by a score of 28-0. to zero. Marcus and I will be back in just a bit. But you're listening to Malakoff Tiger Sports Network on SHN Sports. Yes, sir. It's football season in Texas, and everyone loves a cold or dub beverage. Don't be the one that gets arrested for a DWI, or even worse, cause an accident due to irresponsible drinking. If you consume alcoholic beverages, be a responsible drinker and have a designated driver. It could save not only your life, but someone else's as well. It's simple. Drink and drive and go to jail. Don't drink and drive. This message has been brought to you by Athens and Turner Record Companies. Turner Records and Malakoff and Athens Record of Athens wish the Malakoff Tigers and Lady Tigers a successful sports year. The Malakoff Tigers Sports Network would like to thank Brookshire's and Malakoff for the catering of our press box tonight. Brookshire's will cater all home games this year, and we are proud of our hometown grocery store for the continuous support of Malakoff Tigers and Athletics. Thank you, Brookshire's, for being a sponsor of Malakoff Tigers Sports Network. David has his three-room carpet cleaning special for just $125. That's what I'd pay the chiropractor after doing that. Save money, time, and your back. Let the carpet pro get her done for you. Did we mention that David won best carpet cleaning business on Cedar Creek Lake in 2017 and 2019. Well, he Tiger just did. Kennedy's Red Carpet Food and specializes in 24-hour water extraction and rapid trucks for dry house, pilot, route, VCT house, area rough, upholstery, carpet cleaning, air duct cleaning, and other things. The Malakoff Tiger Sports Network endorses David Porter. The phone number that you can reach David at is 903 802 You can also send David an email at kennedy'srredcarpet at gmail.com. David is also on Facebook. Just give him a shout for the best of the best service. David would like to wish his daughter Alec and son Carter a great year this year at Malakoff Middle School. Alec is a 7th grade MMS cheerleader and Carter is on the 8th grade football team. We would like to thank David for his support of the Malakoff Tigers Sports Network. Go Tigers!
One's going to be one, two, about three games down. It'll say Malakal versus Grosbeck. Grosbeck goes. So they, they're Malakal Sports Network. Yeah. It's 20. We are up. Okay. All right, if you can't get it, hit me back.
The band will now feature the GHS Color Guard performing to the Shakira pop hit, La La La.
All right, folks, we're back for second half action here in Groesbeck, Texas. Yes, sir. You're listening to the Malakoff Tiger Sports Network on SHN Sports. And I'm joined tonight by my cohort, good friends. Yes, sir. Mr. Marcus Dale, the Hall of Famer. What's up? What's up, y'all? Aaron Scott. Hey, and hey. Jonathan Snowden. Yeah. The cameraman. <clears throat> Another uh, night of football, and the Tigers – Look to be in a comfortable lead right now, yep. but, uh, you know, Grosbeck's showing some signs and flashes of trying to make something happen, but the Tigers just uh, bowed their necks at the right moment in the first half to keep them from, you know, getting that necessary first down yardage or getting across the midfield stripe, you right, know, and right. two times Grosbeck had it in Tiger territory and couldn't do anything with it, so. No soup, as we call it. <clears throat> We're about to start the... Second, Second half. half. Yeah. A score to uh, of importance in the district in District 8, Eustis 36, Kemp 20. That's at halftime. So mm. the Bulldogs now, after taking a thrashing last week by the Goats, are putting it to the Yellow Jackets 36 to 20 right now. Oh, Comfortable 16-point wow. lead at the half. Look at that. 10 and off for the Goats will be number 50, Juan Paloma. Yes, sir. Back deep for the Tigers, Deuce Hart, Jalen Hart, and Mosley. Jalen Mosley. Mosley get the ball, look like. Mosley at the 23 to Uh-oh. the 25. 30. Uh-oh. Has one man to beat. 35. Uh-oh. Cuts to the outside and then runs into a pack of goats Where's or a herd of goats at the 40. So the Tigers have good field position starting at their own 40-yard line. <clears throat> Take it like that. And great run by Mosley. You know, the, the Tigers give themselves an opportunity yep. in a short field from 60 yards out with a good return on special teams. Right. And, you know, all year long, the special teams has been playing big dividends for the Tigers. Right. And it just continues here tonight. The got, Tigers kind of, yeah. you know, first half, uh, bits and spurts, you know, there's a penalty, yeah, I guess, I and I didn't see a flag. I but didn't either, but they taking it back. <clears throat> So the Tigers will start now at their own 25-yard line. Huh. What you think that was? Well, it had to be in probably a hold or a clip or something of that nature. And it was a spot foul. So two backs in the backfield now for the Tigers. Langley and Deuce Hart. Man in motion right to left is Jones. And they're setting the edge for Deuce Hart, and Hart quickly yes, sir. gets the Tigers close to a first down to start the second half. Great one. Talk about Coker. <laughs> it was a great one. Yeah, great <laughs> one. <laughs> I felt like I'm a fool. <laughs> great one. Oh. So a nine-yard pickup for the Tigers. Now they go back to a single back set, two wide receivers left. One to the right, Nathan Jones in motion right to left. Going to be a quick – well, I thought it was going to be a quick pass. Oh, and oh, he threw it to the line. They just had to throw it away, and the Tigers the are going to get flagged here. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, Everybody was downfield. Morales is 15 yards downfield for whatever yeah. reason. <laughs> I have no idea. Right. But Jose oh, wow. Morales was down at the midfield stripe, and that's going to be an eligible man downfield against the Tigers. Wow. I think somebody forgot to tell him it was a pass. Yeah, I think it was a little screen, but it was covered. <laughs> so he well, it, it, what to do. it was there, and then Hart – Went someplace else in the route. Wow. And Peace just dumped it. Yeah. Hey, sometimes you got to give it away. Yeah, that had, I got to say it, but that looks sloppy. Yeah, very. Uh, we ain't talking about sloppy Joe. Yes, we are. And they, they really need to. Sloppy Joe sloppy. Get it together right here on the offense. Yeah. Going to be a pistol formation for the quarterback. Darian Peace for the Tigers. Going to be a handoff to Deuce Hart. Oh. And Hart slips down yeah. short of first down yardage. Kind of tucked by number 55, Kobe. I ain't going to say that last name. About a three yard gain for Hart and the Tigers. It'll bring up third down and two now. All right. We usually come out second half on fire, Joe. We're a second half team player. Yeah, I'll tell you. But it, right it, now, <laughs> let's see. Score 28 to 0, though. Hart in the backfield. Going to be another handoff to Hart, and boy, is he buried in the backfield. Man, by Kobe. And that was uh, number 55, Kobe Weinhausen. Yeah, I mean, 
He took him to the house. Joe. Well, in, in in Fulton there, it just that was a lookout blocked by Quentin Fulton because wow. uh, Wadhausen just went right beside of him and basically untouched. Untouched. Right in the hole, Joe. Like they was in the playbook. I mean, you, you've got to get a hat on him. Right. you got to protect your quarterback. That was his blind side right there. Wow. <clears throat> and just like that, it's unusual for the Cowboys. I mean, I said the Cowboys. Lord, help well, me. I don't want to. And there, the there's Cowboys. an offsides right there. Nathan Jones gets off a nice punt. And uh, it'll be fielded at about the 17-yard line. And the Tigers quickly downfield to consume the would-be run of the Goats. And the Tigers are going to get a first down right here, I believe. Let's see. <clears throat> it's going to be close. Did they throw the flag? They did. Let's there was see. a flag thrown. Let's see. And if this is even close, look for the Tigers to go for it right here on fourth down. Oh, yeah, it'd be fourth and one. It's going to be close. It's, it'll be fourth down and probably about a Inches. foot to go here. And it is encroachment on the defense. But, no, they're going to give the Tigers a first down here. Ooh. Again, I, I can't see where the box – Yeah. you know, the box is way off from the field, so you can't really tell where the ball is actually spotted at from our vantage point, folks. But it looks to be like that the officials are giving them – Wow. The Tigers a first down on the encroachment. Let's see. Now they're changing up again, Joe. Let's see. <clears throat> five, one, two, three, four, five. That got to be a first. Well, I, I'm not sure what's going on, but <laughs> – Let's see. They're thinking about it again. Well, you've got one indi one indication saying first, one official saying fourth. And it's like who's on first. And I'm telling you, who's on first? There's just a, a lot of miscommunication out there. Wow. I guess they got it right. Tigers with the first down. so They got the hey. first down, my friend. Yeah, I was going to tell you, I was going to say, oh, man, this is kind of bad right now. But Trips to the left, one wide receiver right. Get a lucky Peace the quarterback. Peace rolls to the left. Has Jones open downfield and has Mosley, but throws it into the grandstands. I'm to tell you. <clears throat> wow. Just a little too hot right there for Jalen Mosley. He was open on the left sideline. Mm -hmm. And my mama used to say, they need to simmer down. Yep. And, and Darian Peace kind of, in this field, folks, I don't know if you can see it or not, but when we came in, we saw there's a crown. The field is actually kind of crowned in right. the middle. Right. That's for usually drainage runoff and so forth, but. Right. That does play a little havoc with a quarterback if he's not used to playing on top of that type of surface. There's going to be a reverse right uh -oh. there, and here comes Jalen Hart with a nice block from the quarterback and a first down for Jalen Hart Great first as down. he driven out of bounds. Yeah, he was out of bounds by number 32. That'll be – Bagels. Yeah, ba yeah. yeah, bagels and biscuits. I'm trying to tell you. Kind of making me hungry. I'm telling you, I, I stay hungry. <laughs> so a nice pickup that time by – Jalen Hart. Well, we got a pass, pass downfield wide field and wide open is Rick and Smith. He's going to be caught, oh. and he's going to walk the dog for the score. Wow. And that is going to be a 54-yard touchdown completion. Just like that. Goodness gracious. Uh, hey, he threw it flat foot once again. Yeah, he, he did, and, and that puts Smith over 100 yards receiving for the night. He's got one for 14, 55, and 54. Wow. Goodness gracious. Two TDs also. Yes, sir. Just when we thought the Tigers were <clears throat> kind of being sloppy, they come with the open wide pass. Gonzalez now to attempt the extra point. The kick is up, and it is good. Duh. Yeah, just talking a while ago, I, I told Bubba Smith that we'd give him a shout-out tonight for the NFL pick -em group that we're in because he's in first place right yeah. now. And he, he got the dubious honor of, of being in the top ten at number one. Right. And usually that's an omen for anybody who usually gets there because you either go from – either stay at one or you drop completely out. You drop out. Yeah, that's been my experience anyway. I'm a witness. I've been there once and dropped yeah. completely out. I was actually up there for the first time. I didn't know what to do. Then well, you didn't know what to do. You I dropped got, completely dropped, out, my dropped, friend. Dropped out of it. Yeah. I'm telling you. I, I've came back now. I, I've, I'm uh, right in the pack now. Hey, you right there. I the beat pack. the number one guy in the league, Rob yeah. Petty. And I was happy for you. I, and I'm, one, I and, and I'm playing Bubba either. Smith now, too, this week. And you so. got to get him. You got to get uh, him. I, I tell you, I don't want to know. These games being moved and stuff is kind of. I know it. Messing us up a little bit. Yeah, it is messing us up they, a little they, bit. They playing like we are. <laughs> They playing next week and all that. Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday yeah, Wednesday. the league commissioner put something wow. out a while ago, yeah. and I was like, my lands. Like, come on. 
But it's fun anyway. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a lot of fun. And we have a lot of fun with it, so. Yes, sir. We appreciate those guys, Randy Lee and Bubba Smith and Ben Rogers, for oh, yeah. for doing that for all of us. It yes, uh, kind of makes it fun in the season to be able to compete like that. Yeah. It keeps you busy. It keeps you a, a nervous wreck the whole week. Yeah, it does. <laughs> There's a long kick by Gonzalez. Oh. And it oh, still get, it went into the end zone, but Nathan Jones was cruising yeah, downfield. And if that ball would have stayed in play, yeah, it, been, it, it would have been, been the Tigers' ball. Yeah. <coughs> he better get it next time. Yeah, the Goats will now have possession from their own 25-yard line. Yeah. If he would have gone that ball, that would have been a bad play. Tell you what, the Tigers just keep producing good kickers uh, year after year yes, now. Sir. Gonzalez, the sophomore, he'll be around for a couple of years, and he'll only get better and better. Two wide receivers left, two to the right. Lewis steps up oh. in the pocket, and, boy, is he belted from behind. Yes, sir. And that might have been. Gaddis looked like. Now, that's Brandon oh, Nations Brandon that Nation. time. Yeah. And Nations got to him just a little late because he could have stripped that ball from his hand, and that was his intent right there. Yeah. But he drove him into the ground, and it was an incomplete pass. Missed him by the 10 of 10, 10. That, that's really a loss of a one. But they didn't move it back. <laughs> <laughs> a loss of a one. <laughs> oh, oh, folks, we're boy. tired tonight. Yeah, well, hey, it's been a long <laughs> day, man. Two wide receivers right, two to the left, one back in the backfield. Lewis, the quarterback. Lewis will just hand that ball off to Smith, and Smith and will uh, get eaten up. By a bunch of Tigers. It'll bring up third down, and he might have gained half a yard on that if they had to be third down and nine yards to go now. Right. And, and right here, here comes Bryson A. There, yeah. Mr. Return Man. But it's third down. He, he can't return this one. Like, well, I it is third down. Well, there we go. Yeah, there we Thanks go for again. reminding me. Hey, hey, you got me. You get me and I'll get you back. <laughs> well, I, I appreciate <laughs> it. You keep each other straight. That's right. The heavy hitter, Carter Fuller, playing safety for the Tigers right now. Tigers three down lineman. Here comes a blitz. Pass down field. Caught and complete. A little soft zone there by the Tigers. And kind of bend but don't break. But he's going to pick up close to first down yardage oh, on that. they're moving it. They're going to move it. I, I thought he was stopped Hold short. On. Let's see. Man, oh, mercy, that Hold was. On. Hold on. Let's see. He's moving. He, he ain't even got the spot I, yet. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, my. But he's... it's not the right thing. I can tell you that. Oh, man. He moved it. The wow. yard to gain was the 35-yard line. He was taken down about the 28. And, the, and it's still not lined up with the 38. Wow. Well, My hey. lands. Huh? Two wide receivers left, two to the right. Feels more like Halloween tonight than it does a Thursday well, night. You, but look at that, George. And Stop Smith is uh, knocked way back in the backfield, and there's that biscuit. Better. Yeah, there he is. He's back. We haven't heard from him in a minute, but hey, he's he been kind of quiet tonight. He's been quiet. He, hey, he ain't no butter. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a tongue hey, twister right in there. Yeah, man. This is, hey, see, on Friday. You've been tired of it's like, it's like this. It's Friday. You know, I know it's Thursday. I got to get up at 4 in the morning and go back to work. I'm like, oh, man. Oh, you got sick days, don't you? I, I do, but hey, they, they hear me. They know I'm feeling good tonight, so I can't. Three wide receivers left. One of the right, it's going to be a handoff to Smith, and Smith lunges ahead for a gain of about two on the play. And, Joy, right now, if the coach would have seen that, it was only one defensive back on three people while this just now. Yeah. And yeah. I, and they I, got away with it. They uh, tried. They ran the ball. Oh, my. Well, I saw that too, Marcus, yeah, and, I, was, and I thought wow. I said I was just waiting right there. Yeah. I was like, this, this touchdown right and here. And that's a young quarterback, too. It's a yeah, sophomore. Yeah, he didn't look up. Once he gets the feel for this game later on, he'll yeah. start seeing things like that. Right. Two wide receivers left, two to the right. Lewis back to pass. Throws right, looks right, and yeah. incomplete. And, and again, you Under know. Threw him. Under I, threw him. I, well, I think the receivers may be running a little bit too deep outs right, right there for him. Right. You got to remember, this is a sophomore quarterback. They only had to get to the 45-yard line right. to get to the chain, so why not make it shorter and easier for your quarterback right there right. and throw to the sticks at the 45 on that out pattern? Just, He's go. got plenty of arm for that. Now they so got the punt, I, I think they're just taking them a little bit too deep with the receivers or routes, so they'll have to change that. Yeah. 35-0, <clears throat> two minutes, 49 seconds left in the third quarter. The Goats got a punt. And yep. eight there. Yep. And I dare them to run it. Well, I, was, I knew you was going to say that. I know it. There's a nice spiraling kick, and he may get to return oh. this one at the 25-yard line. He took the down. 
and breaks oh, all week. Oh, Sue Strain tackle. He's mad yeah, about Yeah, and that was a good tackle by Morrow. Morrow yeah. barely trips Man. him up. Marcus, he had a wall of he blockers a down wall. the right side, and that was six points Ooh, right there. Wee. He, you see how he hit the ground. He was like, oh, no. And Morrow saves a touchdown yeah. for the goats right there because he was going to be gone. He wants that back, Joe. He's feeling that. He, he went, look at him. He's hitting his helmet right now. He, he, he knew that was touchdown. Well, maybe he can ask Coach Driscoll wow. a little bit to put him in the backfield and let him run. Yeah, some. let me run, Coach. I, I could have had to. Oh, all oh, that's hurting him. Oh, that hurt me, too. Yeah, he was out there. Man, just by the shoestring. Two backs in the backfield for the Tigers now. Langley and Hart under duress. Peace finds a wide open receiver at the uh, four. Oh. And it hit him in the Teletubby. <laughs> Goodness yeah, lie. hit him straight in the Teletubby, <laughs> and, he, and it fell down. <laughs> Look at that. Who was that, Joey? I don't want to see it. <clears throat> I can't see his number now. Is that? Well, I, I think that's going to be uh, Jalen Hart, Marcus. <laughs> uh, Marcus, he was wide open, and that, yes. and, and that 40 yard line reached up there and swatted the ball away. Wow. <laughs> oh, second down and 10. And there's the handoff to Hart. Hart to the 30, Uh-oh. 35. That's Langley. Yeah, that's Langley. And Langley Ooh. bulls his way to the 40 yard line. Them boys blocking. Who was that? 58. He got to come out. He running so hard. That was Lance Robinson. And great hit by Lance Robinson. He has to go out the game for a second. With one minute, 22 seconds left in the third quarter, your score is 35 to 0. Tigers are on the move. Are they doing a running clock right now? I'm looking at it. So it got down to. One minute real fast. Back to pass is Peace completed to Nathan Jones, and the Goats do a good job of containing Jones. Right. Yeah, he couldn't quite get in there that time. <clears throat> couldn't quite get in there right now. So Jones for three on the play. It'll be second down and seven up and coming for the Tigers. Time to click and enjoy 45 seconds. Right now, coach is just kind of taking his time. And Two receivers left, to one to the right. And Pease calls his own number. Pease across midfield, down inside of goat territory to the 49. Yeah. And that will be a eight-yard pickup on the play for Darian Pease. And, again, now, we got a bad now, that's, now, that should have been a first down. Now, I don't know. Let's see what they do. Uh, I'm not oh, sure oh, what. They took, oh, they taking it back, Joel. Something happened. I don't see no flags. Wow. I'm so confused. I don't know. Uh, that's got to be a uh, hold right there. Yep. Like a 15 yard. <clears throat> mm. Really kind of surprised at the mechanics of some of these officials. It's horrible. Yeah. Wow. I ain't going to say nothing. I'm going to leave them alone. Two wide receivers left, one to the right. Peace looks to pass. And Peace has a man wide open, open, streaking down the field. And Jalen Hart, Hart catches one finally at the 35-yard line. Yeah, Adam Hart. Jalen say, give me some. 30-yard completion on the play. And that ends the third quarter right there, Joy, with 35-0. to Tigers on top. And here's the final quarter. Yeah, the, the Tigers... Only one Up touchdown. 35 to 0, one touchdown that quarter. Yeah. You know, the yeah, Tigers are picked touchdown. by 40 in this game, wow. by the way, by the Harris rating system. Well, they might get that, but I can't believe only one touchdown in the third quarter, Joe. Wow. Well, it, but, I, t- I tell you, that they just look a little off tonight to me, yeah. and, and maybe maybe this is an emotional letdown after scoring 77 right. last week. I right. mean, what do you got the tank? You know, it's, yeah. it's kind of like that, but there's there's – Spurs that they're doing really good, then Spurs that, you know, right. looks kind of like, eh, maybe they're just not in the game, you know. Right. Well, kudos to the Tigers. I mean, ain't, ain't it a good thing, though, to be able to say that, yeah. not 35 to yeah, 0? Yeah, 35 to 0. <laughs> you know, you're like, well, they're, we can't say, well, they're not playing. Up yeah, I mean, potential, but they are. you're up 35 to 0, and you're able to say things like that. And that's, yeah. that's, a, that's just, yeah. you know, the Tigers, it is what it is. The Tigers are a great football team, and we know that. Yes, we do. My, my only concern is, you know, you play opponents like this and then you get into the playoffs and, right. and then you're, you know, hitting the face with some really good teams like a Pottsboro or yeah. Gladewater. Yeah. And then you got to really dig down and, and, and come on with it then. Right. 
And speaking of Possboro, we got some Possboro people watching, George. Well, welcome in. Yeah, welcome in, Possboro. Possboro having a, another good uh, football season as well. Yes, sir. Tell you what, that Plyler kid is something special. We saw him two years ago, and we said – the year before last, that he was going to be something special. And, yes, we did. And I tell you what, he just proved us right last year. And they had a great game against Tigers last year. And that game could have went either way. But Pottsboro went to the state championship last year. was defeated by Grandview, of course. But and there's the handoff to Langley. And somebody oh, shot him oh, out of a rocket. Ah, Langley say, get me some. Man, he hit that hole like a rocket. That's a 20-yard pickup for Kenyon Langley on that run. You like to see Takenan getting some touches right here. Yeah. You know, you want to save heart. You might want to get yeah. some other players in here now and let these other guys rest up a little bit. Yes, There's a jet sweep. Jalen Mosley around the right side cuts back against the grain. And then Mosley yeah. will pick up a couple. Brought down by Randy Good, Rowdy Good. The Goats. Mm-hmm. Looks like they're going to give him a two-yard pickup after all that running he did. <laughs> My goodness. It's a <laughs> lot of running for two yards. Reminds <laughs> me of old Nick Irvin back in the day. <laughs> Ran 9,000 yards east and west. I'm trying to tell you. Peace, the quarterback. One deep safety. Peace looks downfield, scrambles out to his left. Still looking downfield. He's going to throw this ball out of bounds, and he does with his left hand. That's a great uh, job right there. Right. At, uh, uh, a la Patrick Mahomes' move I'm right there, you, Brett Favre. He Mahomes it. So that's a, that's a great play by your quarterback right there, folks. Oh. Recognized that no one was there. Almost held it too, too long, but was able to throw it out of bounds with his left hand. They're going to pick the flag up now. and <laughs> I don't know what they're trying to call, but you know, usually if you throw the flag yeah. – you're going to call something. Now the Grosbeck coaches want an explanation from the head officials. Why would you throw it? And, you know, if you're not going to – if you're going to pick it up, why would you throw it? Shout out to Deuce <coughs> Perry. He on there every, year, every yeah. week, Joel. And Marcus Jr. once again. What's up? Hand off to Langley again. And Langley oh, he's picks up a line. couple. Yeah. Brought he's down. close to the 10-yard line, I believe. They're going to mark him down shy of the 10. It's going to be fourth down for the Tigers. Yeah. And the Tigers are going to maybe try a field goal right here. Yeah. Man, oh, man. I don't see what they're doing now. What are they doing? A well, field uh, goal. Go for the first right here. <clears throat> Fourth down and eight to go. It's a 30-yard field goal attempt. Well, maybe he's just. For Gonzalez. He's getting this kicker. And I believe we're having some issues with personnel here. Driscoll, the young Driscoll looking over to his pops. There's the kick. It's up. Plenty of leg, and I believe it's no good. Just wide to the right. But oh. I tell you what, he had enough leg to make that from 50, Marcus. Yes, he but did. he pulled it to the right pulled just a tad. Just a little bit. And now the Goats will take over. 35-0, to 9-11 left to play in this one. <clears throat> oh, man. Man. Nine minutes, two seconds left in this ball game. Tigers are still up 34-0. to and, hey, what a game it is. Kind of slow pace, but. Uh. Yeah, got a halftime score uh, in Eustis, 36-20 to 20 Bulldogs over the Yellow Jackets from Kemp. So that game still being played out as well. Mm. There's a stoppage in play again. I, I'm not sure why they moved the ball to the 25-yard line there. <laughs> hey, hey, we just hear it right now. Hey, we just. Wait to see what they do, Joy. Uh, I don't know. Wow. Well, <clears throat> I believe by rule the ball should have been spotted where the holder was from the kick. Right. That's where it's supposed to be. Lewis looks downfield, throws downfield. The pass is caught, and Studley runs him out of bounds. That was caught by Anthony Lewis. I tell you what, Joy, he heard Studley footsteps. He Must be Alan Lewis's brother. It might be. A lot of young uh, players on this Grosbeck football team. Of course, I'd like to say congratulations to the JV 7th and 8th grade team from Malakoff last night as they swept Grosbeck as well. Wow. Three wide receivers to the right, one to the left. Going to be a little quick pass. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. And hey, hey Thomas. Thomas. Man, man. I tell you what, uh, he made a believer out of Morrow, and yes, Morrow's a bit shaken up. And Yeah. 
And, and Thomas, I tell you what, yeah, mild mannered kid, but he yeah. turns into Superman on that play. Goodness you. gracious, what a hit! Yeah, he hit him straight up into the land of Morrow. Man, seven twenty left in this ball game, and some fans out there not liking something. George. Yeah, they they talked yeah. about the clock, and yeah, it wasn't very clock. nice because it yeah. was running. And, yeah, they uh, say stop the clock. There was a few. Um, Mm, yeah. Bleep bleep bleeps yeah. put in there. They're not ready to go home right now, Joe. No, they, they want they want to hear some more. Well, they touchdowns. want some more points. Yeah, they they more smell points. the blood in the water and they want some more points. They want to make sure the stats are right. We got both, both we we supposed to beat them by forty, <laughs> but it's thirty five right now. So we got we, we got. Well, a win's a win. I, I tell you, oh. <clears throat> you know, in district play. The main thing right here, you're ahead with a comfortable lead. You know, bar natural disaster, Grosbeck's going to fall right here to one and one in district play. Tigers will move to two and zero oh, and. You know, you, you want to try to get your young players in there as well. Give them some action in district play. Let them uh, run the ball a little bit. Now a timeout's being called wow. by Grosbeck. Well, and uh, let's see if the clock stops now. It finally yeah, stops. Stop, let's stop. <clears throat> 7 7 but, but what I'm saying is, you know, it's 35-0. to You score 77 last week. Uh, and I don't care who you are, but – if you're the Tigers, you're not trying to score 77 because they had a running clock on the second half last week against Tig, mm. and you're letting the second, third, fourth string running backs get a chance to carry the ball. And the first time they cut, touch the ball, they're Eight, they're taking six. it to the house, you know. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, what do you do? You can't tell the kids to stop playing. Right. You don't want to run it up, and you're not trying to run it up because you've got a running clock going. But kids are going to be kids. They want to show their, they want to show that they can do it as well, Marcus. That's right. I'm with you on that. So the Goats come back onto the field to play, and here comes the Tigers as well. 7.07 left in this contest. 35-0 Tigers. Game well in hand here. And credit, give credit to uh, to the Goats. You know, they've yeah. put up a nice showing tonight. Yeah, they're they a pretty do. young team, but they're going to be uh, pretty salty the next few years. Be all right. Lewis, the quarterback, three-step drop. Lewis looks left, throws left. Oops. And right there to <laughs> toss the young man down. Oh, man. Is that Studley? Uh-oh. Right. <clears throat> well, they're with my ears. Studley. Oh, still with the ears. Yeah. I'm going I'm to break it down a notch. I get carried away sometimes. Yeah, Zach Studley all over the field tonight for the Tigers. Stud with all in his face. He smells Studley cologne, Joy. And here comes Bryson Adair again mm, mm, mm. to return this punt from Zach Ellison. Fourth down and 13 yards to go for the Goats. And they got the punt there. Let's see. This this is dangerous right here, Joy. Well, it's dangerous because that air could take it to the house again. And there's the punt. It's going to go to Adair uh -oh. on the right sideline. Uh -oh. Adair down uh -oh. the right sideline, uh -oh. still on his feet. And Adair dragging goats across the 35 down to the 34-yard line. Nice return by Adair. Well, I Joy, thought he might have exactly. had a chance to break that one as well. It's starting to get excited to see Adair get that ball, Joy. He, 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 he's determined to get in the end zone. Well, and, and i tell you what, uh, seeing the things I'm seeing from this young man, you know, it looks like he has a nice set of hands on him. You know, do we see him later on as a receiver? Hey. You know, you hey, know. you know, you, you might do it, you know. Well, you never can't. Yeah. Well, well, like my homeboy, Slow Park. Walker's there so. moving the ball back to the 50 again. Well, well what happened to them, Joe? They're going to be in a flag. I, I don't see flags or anything. Yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on. I, I'm, I'm a bit stumped. It seems more like Halloween on Thursday night here at Grosbeck. Well, I, I, I did see a flag from the uh -oh. official on the other side earlier. It was Yeah, the far side. Well. Empty backfield set for the Tigers. Trevino in the game. Handoff uh -oh. to Trevino. Trevino uh -oh. to the outside. Oh my. Tries to get away from a couple defenders and could not. Yeah, number seven, Bradley Manziel, kind of. Loss of Got four him. on the play. Yeah, and like the play was designed, was kind of messed up a little bit. It was slow to yeah. begin with, right. and Trevino is going to stay in the backfield for the Tigers. Here we go. To run this football. Three receivers to the left, one to the right. Here we go. Trevino gets the handoff, and Trevino fighting for yardage and is picked up and carried <laughs> Across the midfield stripe to the 49 and by Cannon Poteet. That's what I'd like to see. 
Keep going. I don't care if you, I, I always kept my feet going. You got to keep them feet going. And you always have to. In a four yeah. yard gain that time, yeah. it'll bring up third down and 10 for the Tigers. Some new personnel in for the Tigers. Number 16 on the field, Blake Miller, Miller as time. a receiver. Miller time. Looks like Carter Fuller out there at the wide receiver to the right. So the Tigers now letting the reserves get some work. Peace downfield pass is oh. incomplete, intended for Nathan Jones, broken up nicely. By John Reed. Yeah, John Reed steps in front of Nathan Jones right yeah. there. And it looks like Grosbeck is in the playbook of Malakoff a little bit here, you. Marcus. Coach said, let me go and punt this ball. Yep, we're going to punt it, Joe. So Jones is going to punt the ball away for the Tigers. And this is something we're not really used to either, Joe, this punting. We, we used to taking them in. Oh. That looks like Brandon Nation now gonna is going to punt the okay, ball for said, the Tigers. He said, well, Brandon Nation, get you a little bit in. Conversation rules of Nation. There's there a snap. Good snap. And Nation's okay. woo, with okay. a booming spiral and punt. My goodness. Oh, look at that. That, that goes in and out of the back of the end zone. Wow. I'm talking about. That ball was 50 yards in the air right I'm there, my to friend. Tell you, in a perfect spiral. Goodness gracious. They, I almost want to ride down and catch that one. They say, where has he been? Yeah. It's nice to have two punters, two kickers, you know, two quarterbacks. Everything. Tigers have a little bit of depth this year. What would you say? Two, what's that? It's good two to have punters. And two two quarterbacks. Oh, I thought you sound like a choo-choo train. Yeah, two-two-two. Yeah. Tigers now will come out on defense, leading 35-0 to zero mm. with 314 remaining. Yes, sir. Here we go. Lewis still the quarterback. Lewis looks downfield, pump fakes, throws downfield, and almost oh. picked off. Yeah, who was that? And that was Connor Kale, number 20, Marcus. Yeah, Connor, come on, Connor. Bring it home. <coughs> Connor Kale. Looks like uh, Grosbeck now seeing some of the reserves in for the Tigers, deciding to yeah, go for it. throw it deep now on the Tigers secondary. Well, they don't know. We got – I reserve just like our, our, our first screen. Tigers running uh, three down linemen on defense. Yes, sir. Three linebackers. A little 3-3-3 three, three, three zone there. Mm-hmm. Yep, quite a Lewis calls his own number for the first time of the night. But no love. And he's going to be close to the first down. I'm not sure how close, but he's going to be about three yards, four yards shy of the first down. Right. Great job by these guys, man. Like I said, it was a slow-paced game, Joy, but, <coughs> hey, what can you say? 35-0 to zero right well, now? Well, there were some opportunities I mean, there to score more points, and they just didn't capitalize on them tonight. Right. And if if you have an off game, this is one of those games it's okay right. to have an off game. Right. And the next game will be And we're saying an off game, and it's 35 points. Right. How about that? Right. But we know what they're expected and oh. capable of doing. And that uh, running play right there yeah, on the didn't RPO do, just didn't, do, didn't no do nothing at all. Right. That was Davis on the tackle and didn't do no good. So now looks like Grosbeck will punt the ball away. Clock's winding down under 130 left to play. And uh, look out because Carter Fuller now has his chance at returning the football. Uh oh, let's get for the shout out to Kelly. So I hope uh, no one was betting on the spread tonight here. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Hey, we, oh, no. They're five hey, short of covering. Hey, hey, Carter Fuller yeah. could take it to he the house right here. The there is a there long go. punt, oh, and it goes towards the sideline. Oh, and Fuller's going to get uh -oh. it. And Fuller uh -oh. trying to uh -oh. always drag uh -oh. down from yeah. behind, yeah, and that's something 22. you don't hardly see right there, number yeah. 20. That's Valentine. Valentine say it ain't February, but Goodness gracious. Candy. Man. Showing a little bit of speed right there. I'm going to – Oh. Kind of check and see. Uh, 55 seconds left in this game. It's like the stands are trying to say, let me give me a head start to go home, Joe. Yes, sir. Yeah, he's a junior, Marcus. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's a junior. He got, I told you he got another year. He's he, he ready. I'm getting a lot of comments about the band and uh, uniforms, and I, I really couldn't answer uh, that question, we don't, we don't folks. Know. I, maybe, it's, maybe it's too hot. You yeah, know? Maybe, I, maybe I don't want I'm to put not that hot sure. stuff. You know, we don't Not know. really sure right now, but just, uh, just know that they're – Yeah, they, they did a good job. They got job. a reason, but, yeah. you know. They got a reason. You got to call the man for that. And, like, Tiger's going to kneel it, Joe. 
Yeah, they're going to they're going to just let the rest of this uh time expire on the clock. Well, yep, make it gonna go. So after scoring 68 points last week for Eustis, this is a big or excuse me, against Eustis for Grosbeck. This is a big, big letdown for Grosbeck. Yes, it is. But you're playing number four team in the state of Texas. Also, the Tigers right. win 35-0. to zero. And if you're Grosbeck, this is a bit of a consolation for them, too, staying within 35 of the Tigers. There were some bright spots here and there for the Grosbeck Goats all night. But for the Tigers, you know, just kind of it felt a little bit off tonight, didn't it, my friend? Yeah, they did. They did. They did, Joel. But, they. You can do it when you want to do. Tigers did well, and like, I said, like we said all all along, you know, it's nice to be able to win thirty-five to zero, right? And then say, well, we were a little off tonight. You know, fifteen years ago, this would have been a a great great victory, but we're expecting we, more and more all the time from the Tigers. We expect more. <clears throat> and um, so the Tigers win this one thirty-five to zero, folks, to go two and zero in District Eight play. Right. Uh, congratulations to Coach Jamie Driscoll and his coaching staff and all the Malakoff Tiger players. Yes, sir. And the Tigers will play Wednesday. Wednesday. It'll be the homecoming. It will be homecoming. And, Marcus, I'm going to put you on the spot here. Okay, talk to me. Do you know who we play? <laughs> <laughs> hey, like my homeboy Slowpoke Rodriguez say, if you think you can, you can. If you think you cannot, you cannot. I think. Well, And I don't know. Can, so, are you saying you cannot? I cannot. <laughs> well, <more. laughs> We're going to have to look. Hey, I'm confused. I think it's going to be uh, Kemp. Kemp. Yeah. It, it will be Kemp, yeah. my friend. So, yeah. unless that changes, but right now it's going to hey, be It Kemp. might change tomorrow. You know, we never know. <laughs> you better do your homework next yeah, week. So, I'm going to ask me. you next week who we play again, too. You got me. Yeah, we better, yeah, we better get all of it. Well, I tell you what, 36-28 the third quarter for Eustace and Kemp. And uh, Kemp coming back a bit on Eustace now. Uh, Kemp trying to wake up a little bit in that one. But the Tigers drop the goats to – uh, one and one on the season in district play, and three and three on the year. The Tigers moved to four and two on the season, and uh, two and zero oh in district eight play. Kemp on the schedule next week, folks. Wednesday night mm-hmm. or evening, six thirty p.m. It's going to be homecoming. Homecoming. So we will see you there. And uh, folks, this has been uh, a good night for football. The Tigers win another victory. They keep it going. And uh, we'll be back for homecoming next week against them Kemp Yellow Jackets. And uh, Kemp comes to Malakoff for homecoming. And I bet there's still some uh, some soreness left over for some players that uh, are on this team from when they planted the flag in the middle of the Malakoff field tell you, I'm a couple sorry, of years Danny. ago. Yeah, I'm so. sorry, Danny Chandler. We, they, they, they planted that flag on us last year. We got yeah, to, you know, they, we they, to keep on getting them. They may, have to, uh, they may have to run it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we still <laughs> the folks, for everyone who's been a part of this broadcast, I'm Joey Snowden for Marcus Dow, Aaron Scott, and Jonathan Snowden bidding you farewell and good night from Grosbeck, Texas. We'll see you next Wednesday night in Malakoff, Texas for homecoming against those Kemp Yellow Jackets. Our score tonight, 35-0. Your Malakoff Tigers come on top. And 